the boys cast with a banger episode for the ages. You know, we got the boys from Stuff Island yeah, we did. in the studio, and uh, this is just a ball of a time. Oh, yeah, I had, a, I had quite the ball. And yeah. since there's no sponsors this episode, this episode is brought to you by RyanLongStore.com. Fellas, fellas, merch, you want to pop over there? And more importantly, Los Angeles will be this Sunday, then Cleveland, Chicago. Buy those tickets for Chicago. We're going to add some more, too. Cincinnati, Columbus, Charlotte, Greensboro, Rally, Austin, Detroit, Portland, Phoenix, Plano, Toronto, Baltimore. Get it? Baltimore. And then if uh, and, uh, do you have anything to promote? Yes, lowvaluemail.com for low value mail t-shirts. Yeah. That are now available. All right. This is our podcast. This is podcast all, This is some of our uh, fa- uh like funniest boys to hang out. So yeah. it was like just a uh, just a straight up boys hang. Yeah, it was. We talk about sports. We never talk about sports. I know. I changed the subject. When I, we know, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. The boys. It's the boys cast. The lads. It's the boys cast. The dudes. Prepare yourself for boys cast. The bros. It's the boys cast. The homies. It's the boys cast. The dudes. The fellas in the studio after going to the wrong location. <laughs> Holy yeah. shit, dude. Yeah, dude. And you guys, you guys were sort of tuned up last night, right? Fucked yeah. up. I feel yeah. like we're even now because yeah. you sort of hit me up and you're just like, yo, it's going to be late or whatever. The traffic's really bad. And it's like, okay, but you're just still just leaving now. Yeah. <laughs> no, we were sure. on the road. We were sure. on the road. Yeah, the Eagles are point. chewing up. <laughs> <laughs> we were on the road and I didn't think yeah. it was going to. We got through a lot of traffic. What we were say, it was saying we'd be a lot longer than we were. In fairness, we were up and texting about going. Pretty early, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were think we were <laughs> yeah. we were texting about leaving like around nine. Oh, yeah. But then we didn't get on the road to like. I mean, 12, the fact 30. that you're up at nine. I was yeah. up at eight, thinking Shane was gonna leave at like ten. Because sometimes she just gets up and skedaddles, and I was like, yeah. if I miss this ride, it'll ruin the rest of my fucking day. And I'm then you guys all drove back together. And then we all yeah. drove back together. That's yeah. real, fi- real hardcore Philly uh, traffic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that abnormal? Normally, it's a smooth sail and not even like a little bit of a glitch. Uh, it's. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely had something to do with leaving a little later. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, know? Biden's in town today. He's yeah, jamming yeah, everything up. Yeah. Like and it. Trudeau. Biden's so fucking, here. Yeah. Oh, really? They're Trudeau? They're all too? here, yeah. yeah. So, come on. What's Biden doing there? <laughs> I don't you, know. They're all Why is Trudeau the U- there? UN. My uh, girlfriend's grandmother texted her, and she goes, hey, traffic jam uh, up by the United Nations where she lives. She goes, cancel all your plans. And you're like, yeah, but you live up there. Like, yeah, yeah. Whole, Canceling your whole plans the whole city. <laughs> Justin yeah. Trudeau's been wilding, yeah. too. He went to visit the queen, and then uh, he was- she was dead. Yeah, he killed her. Really? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, no, we had sex with her a couple of times. That's, just, that's, just, that's the LGBTQN. But. <laughs> does, does Canada still acknowledge the crown? Oh, yeah. So- she's the, on all their money. It is really? sort of a big deal, but he went to the that, thing and he was like singing and dancing, and yeah, he did uh, he did a Bohemian Rhapsody. Fucking <laughs> no, no, he, he didn't. didn't. No, not at the funeral. He's I got don't a know, after party? No, no, no. There was a uh, the, <laughs> the night before the funeral. He was like in the hotel lobby, like holding court. Yeah, but you know, I, I don't know. Honestly, everybody's shitting on it. I'm like, I don't, I don't you know. If I'm it. a piece of shit. No, I didn't love it, but I was like, I don't know if I'm a piece of shit. But I'm like, I didn't think it was the worst thing in the world. Like, she's no, like, like gives she didn't shit. die suddenly. Yeah, she was like yeah. 96. He's like, I don't know. He loves attention. He also, can't get fired. Like, what you guys talking shit about the queen? Yeah, fuck the, fuck queen, the queen. Yeah, you didn't also, say that when she was alive. Too free. Yeah, come for us. Yeah. Uh, Once I got over 18, I knew I was safe. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't come for me. Yeah, After a post a post funeral is the best fucking hang. That's like yeah. everybody just gets pickled, that, dances. It, yeah, and it's know? a 96 year old, right? Like yeah. this isn't like a tragedy. That was the funniest thing. The articles that day, they were like, "What happens next?" It's yeah. like they just call a guy a another old name. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, well, they're sort of in a, t- a rock and a hard place in some way because like. Everyone will be getting mad at the queen being like, you know, the monarchy is responsible for this and this and this. And the obvious answer is like, listen, they don't do anything. Yeah. But like, <laughs> yeah. It's like you you but like you don't want to admit that. Like yeah. it's like you being like the you work at a company and everyone's like, you know, and this thing's going to shit. You're like, I barely have a job. But like yeah. you, you, know, I know, you can't you get, blow up your spot. Exactly. Yeah. You get fired. <laughs> Dude, if she was complaining about the shit they were up to, they'd be like, Well, you're not 
the queen anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. like the queen. That whole thing's done. Yeah, sure. If you're gonna complain about what we're doing in India, get fucked. <laughs> <in India. laughs> get the fuck out of here. She did that uh, quiet. <laughs> <laughs> the quiet quitting. Yeah, she, <laughs> 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 so she did. She just like, yeah. like, like uh, you know, she a uh, woman that age. You, you hit seventy, they have to have an exit strategy for the next the next old bag. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so they waited like another twenty seven years for this pig to fall. Though there is one. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, uh, you, you had to be yeah you had to feel for prince what is it william who's the guy who's yeah, in there he's yeah. finally out there. he lost all his prime yeah, years yeah, though yeah. dude yeah. he, had, he could have been charles. he could have yeah, been doing king, like physical things as a king like kayaking and shit i know and he's just had to be a prince until he was 80 yeah, yeah. sucks now he's got a he's got a <laughs> Dude, fucking 75 year old prince <laughs> he sucks so bad dude, no, the yeah. best is yeah you think you, you know the girl knows like yo i'm hooking up with my friend what you know about he's a prince for yeah. starting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get the forty. That shit starts getting corny as shit. What <laughs> is he not going to be a prince anymore? Dude? Yeah, yeah. It's a prince with Alzheimer's. Yeah. So they are going to have to change all the money in Canada. What? They are going to have to change all the money no. to William. Well, I don't think they're going to put the dead queen on there. They, yeah, like, like once they start making new money, I think it's the king. King Charles is going to be on the money now. Damn, this that's big for him, dude. Yeah, yeah. that's huge. Throwing your own bills is. I mean, you know, <laughs> dude, <laughs> that is. snort a line, rolling up your own face. Come on, dude, <laughs> suck bird. That I mean, rules. You guys have it good in America because all it's your money's all men. Yeah, all, all our money's yeah, chicks. Yeah. Sort of a yeah, gay country. That's why yeah. we're not our paper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we actually had that when we had. They used to have all dudes, but me and my boys protested. And we said yeah. none of this gay yeah. shit. Yeah, I'm not gonna have, <laughs> I'm not gonna walk around with dudes on my pants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you got like five bills stacked on each other. It's gay as shit. <laughs> <laughs> Having a fucking orgy in my pocket. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking Franklin yeah. and Lincoln six yeah. nine and dude. You're lucky I can trade this for Kit Kats. Otherwise, <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> like a giant prince. <laughs> yeah, they have like a. It's I'm kind of sweat a, my dick off. Is it I coming through? I put no. it on. No, I actually did like. No, nah, it's fine. Yeah, we're no, I no it's, I yeah, yeah. I just got. I get that soon. anxiety. Like <laughs> yeah, I feel yeah, the yeah. beat of sweat. No, we do. And then it gets bigger. Yeah, no, yeah. it's coming. The problem soon. is because we cover it with the curtain, so then it. Uh, yeah, doesn't work. Well. We have it gone. <laughs> Tommy <though. laughs> also gets dipped in antiperspirant before he leaves the house, <laughs> <laughs> so, so it all comes out his face. One hundred percent, dude. <laughs> I clog all the pores where I should be controlling my my temperature, just like, and then it just falls over my eyebrows. Quick dry cement. These things are soaked sponges, dude. Consider the headband? <laughs> Just wringing them out in the bathroom. A headband. So headband. I can't play guitar. How the fuck am I going to wear a headband? No, like the sports <laughs> headband. Remember yeah. Charlie Villanueva? Yeah, the basketball dude, that would, that would rule. Red, yeah. blue, and white. You go dude. for the, yeah. the little, Harlem? Little eye black. <laughs> <laughs> you guys use gay money in your country? <laughs> the fuck out of here. <sighs> no, they were doing uh, the basically... Because there's like a big, you know, fuck the queen because they're all like they did all that bad stuff. But like, <laughs> what bad stuff? <laughs> yeah, let's see what Like the government loves to sort of be on board with like, <clears throat> you know, bad news, all this stuff. But like low key, like we're still having the parade and stuff. Like we're not here to actually like rock the boat. <laughs> yeah. So they made it a holiday. But then they also like said it's elite. Like the, the schools were not allowed to talk about the queen because it's bad. Like students don't want to. They could get triggered because of colonialism. So they, <laughs> dude, in <laughs> Canada, yeah. it's this is legitimately. My friends are texting me. Right now, they have a holiday, but the teachers aren't allowed to mention why there's a holiday. Shut the fuck up. And all the really? provinces were like, yeah, we're, or a lot of them were like, yeah, we're not doing a holiday. Do you think this is also f uh, to reduce the chances of a revolt and the people coming back and destroying the monarchy? Uh, no. All right. Um, people the are like... Monarchy's <laughs> destroyed, yeah. I think. No, people are pretty ambivalent about the... The monarchy. Well, let's Canada. get those rich cunts out of there. Yeah, I mean, we Steal we didn't beats. have the balls like you guys to straight up, yeah, you know, leave and then be like, oh, can you imagine if Canada was like, listen, we're out, and they're like, no, you're not. You're like, we tried. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I even raised my voice. <laughs> <laughs> Here, take my sword. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, uh, do you mind if at least we have our own money? No, you're not gonna have your own money. You go. Off. Do you need? Do you need some money? <laughs> <laughs> you want to ride home? <laughs> My daughter's face is on your money. Oh, yeah, now. dude, Canada <laughs> not for long. That's, I guess the biggest one was: uh, Did she kill Diana? What's the conspiracy? Yeah. What do you guys think? I, I definitely think she was murdered. Yeah. What? Yeah. Do you, but do you think the queen was in on it, or do you think it's one of those ones where they're like, listen, this problem's got to take care of, but we're not going to tell you anything more about that? And she goes, la la la, you know? Yeah. Nah, dude, you can't. You can't get killed by. If you're in a car, you could just stop. You can't get killed by motorcycles. 
Yeah. No, the popper. I guess the thing is the paparazzi. But they were, like but they were trying to flee. You should have just, you could just yeah, stop. Yeah, just, just a bad driver. No, wasn't yeah, it the yeah, limo just, dri- yeah, okay, driver? Yeah, limo driver. Talking bad. Oh, you think shit. they hired? The, you think there was? Yeah. A, it was a suicide. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> driver. I'm the guy that like the bumper. <laughs> no, I'm the guy that believes the conspiracy, and I don't even know it. Yeah, me neither, dude. <laughs> I'm like, dude, Stay I think Sandy Hook kids did like kill someone. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, not yeah, even the conspiracy. Yeah. You go, I don't know. Yeah. Like, dude, that one. <laughs> the Sandy Hook kids killed Alex Jones. Yeah. So, yeah. What was the conspiracy um, there? <laughs> I'm real big on knowing one or two facts and peppering into <laughs> another conspiracy. I know, but right? well, you can't ever know them because they go too deep. I remember I tried to have a conversation with someone about the Sandy Hook thing, and they're like, "Dude, Sandy Hook didn't even have Wi-Fi." You're like, what? what? How is that? How is that relevant? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and like, was that you their can definitely linchpin? kill kids when the Wi-Fi is not <laughs> working? <yet. laughs> no, but maybe for that guy, it was sexual, and he needs to look at his fucking sights when he's getting. You know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when he's doing the kill, he's like, "All right, now let's." Oh, right, right. Pump, oh you're yeah. kidding me! He's powered. He's powered by child porn. <laughs> No, he wants. He wants to yeah. just fire up some butts. Yeah, he wants <laughs> to kid butts. Scroll through the pro, the Instagram profile of the girl who turned him down. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? True. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a good true. one. Look at the pictures of her new family. <laughs> <laughs> one more fucking bullet. <laughs> I think that's what it. Is. Did you? I don't know if you guys saw, but bro, I, I sent you the story of like this is in right where Danny lives, right where I went to high school. Like, like uh, literally, like we used to our high school football te- or like sports. The, t- we used to the play teacher with them. the tits. Did you see the teacher with the huge cans? Yes. Oh yes, yeah, I saw the yeah. cans. Yeah, I didn't. And, read and the she's story. a shop teacher. What? She's literally she teaches Best shop. Story of the year. Co- Dude, she has these. So she's trans uh, as of like the last year. Did she build her own tits? <laughs> no, no, she bought them. I found the site. I found the site. Actually He's been looking for himself. They're about they're five hundred bucks. They're on a. They're for a, it's like a crossdresser site. They're five. They're size Z. Okay. Oh, she just like she skirts. So, so skirts like, into it like a back, front backpack. No, it, no, it's a uh, full like it has it's sleeveless, and then you put it on like a shirt, silicone, silicone and then the jugs are like oh full of God. air, basically. Danny, I didn't I didn't sleep well enough last <laughs> night. And this sounds like a great bed. Oh, real nice, real nice. At least pillows. And then she wore them, <laughs> no bra, because I guess Dude. there's no bra for that. So then, and she's like a shop teacher. Yeah. Like teaching these I kids. I saw the nipples in her belt. Yeah. 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 All yeah. There. yeah. 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 That was some of the problem. But yeah. yeah, they were basically, the parents were like, this is no good. And the, the, the school people yeah. are like, our hands are tied, dude. We can't get <laughs> you involved can't in this. You can't fuck with training. When, when no, you're you buying strap on tits, do you get to choose cold or hot nipples? Uh, <laughs> like, no. Yeah. Uh, no, oh, exactly. this website, I don't think so. Uh, I did peruse the site. I don't think so. <laughs> I like got hot ones. <laughs> the, my favorite reaction to this, though, is if you go on Twitter, like, because there's all these people who are like, what is going on? Blah, blah, blah. And then there's all these dudes who are like, it's pretty unsafe operating a lathe yeah. with your tits out. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like, yeah, and, and, and they go, and they go, she doesn't have her hair in a ponytail or anything. They go, all these dudes are like, and her sleeves are out. They is go, this wood shop we're talking about? <laughs> yeah, like a wood shop. Oh, and he's, she's also teaching the dumbest kids in the school, right? Yeah. That's where you put all the, the and the best part the is they're trying to be like they, they were <laughs> trying to make a bench. I can't have you fighting the teacher every day. <laughs> yeah. They were trying to say the kids are cool with it, and they go like, "No, if any kids are not cool with this, it's that class." Yeah, like yeah, this yeah, isn't yeah. fucking drama class. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is like the woodshop <laughs> class. These are kids who are like making fun of her every second. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I would love that on that tip, like. That's all that stuff. Like even when they were like, "We're gonna teach like blowjobs to grade six. If I was in grade six, I go, "Please, yeah. Yeah. please, yes. you know, yeah, Mister Henderson, please yeah. have to yeah. teach me how to give a blowjob." Yeah. <laughs> I if the it, oh my, you know, you know, pl- if the principal and the school board are deciding that he's gonna have to teach me how to eat out a chick yeah. and gay sex, yo, that was the big one. They're like, "Do we teach gay sex?" Yeah, please yes. make my teacher. Yeah, you know, he goes. It was like you know, and that's how guys have sex with girls. Like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> use another banana. I didn't, I didn't pick it up. We're not done. Uh, it yeah. says here. Yeah. <laughs> There's other types of sex you can have. Yeah, so and, this uh, is all tranny protectant, right? They well, don't want to offend. Yeah, it, what it's we're honestly pretending it's, is. That's not even technically. Did you one, see um, Ricky Gervais's last special? Did yeah, I think. You so. know where he basically said he's like nothing's crazy anymore. Yeah, like there's nothing. Yeah. Like, like there's everybody's so worried about being like like you know a bigot so then yeah. nothing and like this is the classic example where someone is probably like this is probably crossing a line well, it's one of those, it wouldn't even be crossing a line to be, mm. they, you'd show up to work like that and your boss would go stop it yeah like, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's hilarious. That's, that's, yeah. that's what they're on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going Dude, way I get too it. it is yeah, funny. Take them all, Frank. Doing take that. them all. That is what they're trying to do, right? <laughs> they're challenging the system. Kind of. Well, they're just pushing the boundaries of what's... I'm yeah. sure she. that wasn't her first pick. I know. Was I the just... size... Z. It had yeah. to have been her first pick. You think they? Yeah. Oh come on! You think she's like I'll take normal? She goes, we only have X X X X X X X X X X X. She goes, ah, toss it. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Yeah. I don't know. That's yeah. a choice. It's like getting a large coffee for only like thirty-five more sets. <laughs> yeah. She was probably like, how much for these? And it's only what for this? Just give me big boys. Yeah. I'll figure it out. I would love to do the same thing. Just a male teacher who teaches in sweatpants. Huge dick. Just the big, yeah. yeah. biggest fake dick. Yeah, dude. He could possibly. Well, it would be the girl. You'd have to be. It would have to be a lady. Oh, it would be the lady yeah. doing it. The sure. lady being like, just yeah. so you guys know, I'm like a guy now. Just, <laughs> just with, just strap on. with the fucking giant hog. Wearing an erect strap on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah basically. <laughs> I like, they, like the shirts. Like, where do you even get the shirts? Spandex. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's like a because it's like a dude, like the person's body is probably like you know I don't know Ryan but then the shirts have to have like this much clearance. Wait, is the picture hanging but on the arm, but the arms are normal and like was she wearing a sleeveless shirt? Yeah, uh, I think it was. I think it was a tank. Maybe no, she's no, 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 sleeves because everybody was like, those <clears throat> sleeves are going to get caught in the lathe. Uh, or like the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny, though, everyone being like, you know, this is like giving a bad example of the kids and the one guy that's like, you think that's bad? Think yeah. about the sander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the man who respects the woodshop. Yeah, he respects the yeah, safety yeah, protocols. Yeah. Unsafe. <laughs> yeah. Enough about the big heaters on the dude. <laughs> Look at his bo <laughs> about boots aren't regulation. <laughs> Safety blade. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was wild. I like the idea of her every morning strapping up just like fucking Rambo. <laughs> just ready to go to war. Oh dude, there God. are all these pictures. Just putting her arms through those tits. Oh, my God. <laughs> tying, oh, tying a headband. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, but I mean, at least half of those dudes are questioning their sexuality and wanting to... Maybe, but like... Throw a little pork No, this is the thing not hot. The, yeah, <laughs> no, no, not hot at all. It's not even close to being... They're so... They're, no, you they're know, so clownish. It, it, yeah, yeah, it is clownish. It looks, it looks like you if you threw some fucking tits on. It's not like, yeah. you know... Yeah, well... But they're like... I don't even... I've a never seen... Chick. I've never seen <laughs> yeah. a human... Someone become. that I would fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're not human-sized tits, though. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're like literally. They're like elephant. Yeah, but she's titus. also not hot. Like, if you see like a homeless chick, eh, all right. But as <laughs> I'm saying that, I'm like, I can appreciate. But is that, that if it was hot? <laughs> you'd be like, oh, it's, no. They're like they hang down to her. Yeah, waist. It's, it's over her waist. Yeah, yeah it's they're, like over her waist. Over her waist. Yeah, there was, uh, and they're trying to say the kids are like, oh, the kids are cool with it. It's all the media and the parents are all like bigoted and stuff. Well, this and you're was, like, the kids are taking photos because they obviously think it's a joke. Yeah. This is her whole angle. So, that, listen, I don't want to say this, but uh, <laughs> there <laughs> are there are sub, <laughs> subsects of the populace in both straight and gay that want attention. They'll do anything for more attention. Right? Todd Glass used to say this because he's gay. He used to say this about guys that are just like, oh my, like the fucking way up in, <laughs> yeah, in the yeah. air gay. And he hated that. He's like, that's just an act. That's just, they want attention. They do all th this. That's is why they hang out with girls because the girls will give it to them. Yes. Yeah. So the yeah. guy's like, I'm in this big fight. Everyone's like, Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have a flare. I got a flare. Yeah. I, you know, you think I, I'm turning it up. I want yeah. attention, right? I get it. But th she's like, I can't get fired. That's number one. I get a lawsuit out of this giant Some titties. people actually were saying oh, that yeah. she's trying to get <laughs> yeah, fired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she the, goes, I wish, she gets yeah. a payday. And then she goes, if I don't, I get a shitload of airtime because the media is going to have to cover me. This is a this is a strategy that she can parlay out of woodshop teaching in, <laughs> into entertainment. She can be You're right. the yeah. next She's semi looking at, honestly, quasi celebrity. Honestly, if you knew celebrity. what entertainment was like in Canada, you <laughs> well, think, I think you're that, telling us what it is. Yeah. It's dark. The entertainment industry, like I don't even know. Well, I guess she's looking what would at she the be doing? Open, that she'd be doing open mics in Toronto next week. Like I don't even know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, but in her mind, uh, that that's you only know that because you went into it and you go, yeah. huh? Eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is what it is, right? Dude, yeah. I'll tell you this. I had a teacher, and I uh, think it was whatever geometry or no, but uh, I don't know, whatever. What, one of my subjects when he showed up with a new toupee and he was tormented for four straight <laughs> years. Yeah, this is like it was the funniest thing in the world. Of course. To me. Now Wait, he's got so tits he had, on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he tried to change toupees mid year. He went, he had uh, Mr. Daz. <laughs> he had gray hair, showed up, 
toupee jet black. Oh my <laughs> god! Shit. He, this is like after I'd been in the school for a couple of years, so he was around, right? And it was maybe the funniest thing ever. It's like everyone burst out <laughs> laughing when yeah. he shows up into class. There's yeah. nothing funnier. As a kid, you'd think he's fucking with you, like he's like he wants to put a joke on. Yeah, this yeah. is kind of keeping in the tradition of shopkeepers being just fucking <laughs> weirdos. <laughs> dude. <laughs> dude, my shop, my shop teacher in when I went, this dude, Mister Somerset, he got in the middle of the year, he got fired because he had like one of those old like he he, he was like um whatever he worked like a regular job he worked what taught one class he was smoked during class and he had one of those like really old like 486 computers and he kept all the grades on there and some kid just like pressed delete and deleted <laughs> all, his computer, all his grades and he's just like i did <coughs> one class fuck this he punched the kid in the face yes <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Like he was an old school dude, Mr. <laughs> Somerset, and he had like missing all these teeth. He was like a real hard dude. Yeah. And then, and then now they're like, this is yeah. what it is. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> dude, my like, shop teacher got struck by lightning. <laughs> 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 I swear to God, I, before I ever got to high school, oh, he's talking about that a lot. This guy, probably, this right? guy, so like, so it went through like his right hand and I think out his left foot. So his right hand was gone <laughs> his left leg was like a peg leg yes did his he make left, his own leg his left hand had his right toe as his thumb oh <laughs> stop man. it yeah, yeah, I swear yeah, to like God. a chimp dude yeah this was guy it on was, sideways dude yeah also it's, like a yeah, character possible. in a horror movie dude he, the, yeah no this guy looked like a build a bear dude he literally was like, he was like remade from shop parts i, I mean oh my i guess God. He has the, <laughs> he's like a mr potato yeah, i know it Damn. was nuts. He, does and every like year on the first day of class, does he have to be like, hey, just so you know, this is from lightning. He not never from addressed me being it. He never. He doesn't be like, I didn't get in an accident in the shop. Like, no, he just hobble over to you and tell you like how to operate a drill. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. dude, yeah, that was the first time I realized that. I also, because your first instinct would be like, he's like, and here's how you do the hacksaw, and you go, I don't know if you're the guy for like, yeah. you think that the injuries happened in his shop endeavors. <laughs> yeah, no, this is I a full body school, trauma. So I didn't understand shop. You know that they don't teach you things that you could use in life. Uh, yeah, not really? You went to Religious. I went to Jewish elementary school. Yeah, you think carpentry would be? Yeah, one carpentry. Of the big yeah, because yeah. half of them are going to be in carpentry. Yeah. Like the dumbest oh, kids so I ever knew. Jesus' job. So I didn't get to meet with the waterheads that often because I was in first track in AP. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but all the waterheads. The I imagine they were saying the same thing about you. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. I was going to school with the big boys. They were like this kid. You jam in the locker afterwards. I was the only jock that could rip their undies over their forehead. Anyway, <laughs> Spanish class is when I hung out Being with the waterheads. Lone jock at Catholic. School. You're like, let's go, boys. There's no boys. Yeah. <laughs> just the solo sad jock. Yeah. You're like, why do you keep doing this? It's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm training for the future. <laughs> We're jocks. I'm just giving the tally horses to the coaches. <laughs> no, but the, the Spanish class was unruly with maniacs. Okay. Was, that's where that's where you'd hang out with the with the what we call the shed boys. Because <laughs> they had to go to school. They had to go. There, there, was, no, there, was, no, there was no fourth. There was no fourth track. There was just this wooden <laughs> shed next to the school. They had to learn like math and shit. No, they they didn't even get a normal classroom. No, no. <laughs> they they because they had to get like special training. <laughs> and then just to further denigrate them, they put them in the shed. In a shed, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was it was hot as fuck like this. I've, uh, <laughs> you want a bigger school? Build it. But, <laughs> dude, these dudes, we had this little Spanish teacher that was like, she was kind of autistic and really strange. She would wear like, like hairy carpets around her, her like long, really long, she should never laid type, like really long skirts all the way to her ankles. And like her, she would be like, okay, class. Like very fucking strange. Very strange Wait, she'd woman. she wear hairy carpets? Well, yeah, like it'd What's be very hair? wooly. And like, she's like old school, like <laughs> wool. And she never shows skin. She was like very, yeah, like a Mormon mom or something. Yeah. And then our, all the kids would, we would just come up with some prank every day. So, like before class, before she came in, we'd be there like five Cut minutes earlier. Yeah, and she, they'd be like, they'd be like <laughs> at one ten, yeah. everybody just stand up and start marching. So I the whole class, yeah, 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 yeah. I've done a few, the whole yeah, class yeah. except for the goody goodies that would happen to be in like first or second track or whatever. They we can't walk. You already broke their kneecaps. <laughs> <laughs> one day we would just like everybody had a paper ball and we just drill her. And then she couldn't say like who did it at first. She turned around and just, just fucking peg her in the back of the head with a with an old test. <laughs> 
Shit, that ruled, man. Oh. Shout out Warren. So you, can, you couldn't even prank this teacher. It'd be a hate crime. Yeah, exactly. Legit any exactly. prank, True. hate crime. Yeah, you, well, what you'd want to do is pop the titties. She goes flying around. You know, if anything, fucking... everybody gets their own ones. They all show up one day. Every kid shows up. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, size yeah. Size. Bigger. You're right. Z. Now, even bigger. If you are a kid, because, yeah, the. People are going to debate this in the media or stuff, but kids know how to handle their business. The great, if you were, you and your boys were in that class and you all just showed up with matching tits and they were like, you can't do that. And you go, why? Yeah. How many? Like, that yeah. is the, that's yeah. the funny, that's the move. Over yeah. under in Halloween parties in this town and that school, how many people are dressing up like Big Titty? <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, Big Titty's yeah, going to be a yeah. popular be fucking dress. Yeah. You know what's yeah. a weird thing? Though? So some article found the site that's how I saw them or whatever and then for whatever reason they were like $800 on the site and then the site because of this news like oh, put them on sale yeah. on sale right they're now yeah, you gotta, 450 you or something uh, no way slashing the price I guess blowing them well, out well because they used to be like mm. a not like a very uh like a boutique item that only you're selling ten of them, so the prices are high. Now they're moving off the yeah, shelf, probably. probably. Yeah. It's so funny because that's like a <laughs> that's a factory, man. That's yeah. a factory fake somewhere. Tits yeah. to <laughs> like someone's job is just like, hey, I make latex size Z. <laughs> yeah. Imagine hanging up the phone like, holy shit, we got a hundred more triple D. <laughs> yeah, you won't believe it. <laughs> someone, someone's not spending time with their family because they can't get these tits out fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> there was a really good uh, I couldn't find the girl's name but it was an Instagram star that has these like huge guns right Yeah. and yeah. had an uh, Instagram story where she does does anything at, other than talk about the guns but she has like 10,000 you know she's getting 2 million views a video right just let, reading nursery rhymes with the guns whatever yeah, she yeah, wants yeah, to yeah. do doing this dances this is how you but, make an omelet yeah, yeah. doing mm. omelets with the guns making nursery <laughs> rhymes with the, well, she's doing all the things but with the guns and then she was like been prepping up that I'm getting this breast reduction and she got the breast reduction and someone posted the analytics <laughs> She went from like a hundred to two hundred k minimum a video to like five k <laughs> <laughs> overnight. Ooh. Just the <laughs> analytics are just torched. Yeah. Did she like, actually think she had worth? She honestly thought like, well, now that I'm a real like a big star, I don't need the guns. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> hey, honey, you needed the guns. <laughs> <laughs> Their back was probably killing her. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You're yeah. just deadlifting all day. <laughs> I, I, just I deadlift mind. once a week. I'm hurting for five days. <laughs> this bitch is throwing 325 across her chest all night. <laughs> It'd be funny if she had to walk around. You know when the people put their like one knee on that little scooter? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> put their tits on a scooter in front of them. Just walk. <laughs> <laughs> Try to keep the weight off their back. Yeah, yeah they got to go over the handlebars on the bike, I think. You know, that's oh, just yeah. standard. Yeah, what a nightmare. Uh, yeah. Uh, these so. ones are air, though. These ones are they, They're designed for use You know For yeah, function Those ones function. Yeah. No, People I would say If this week was like A week for all Like the wackiest Fucking stories That's why like The Beyond Meat CEO yeah. So like the Chief Operating Officer was, That's like You know Probably like Third up From the yeah, top Yeah he's up there Yeah he was uh, In a fight In like a Parking garage <clears throat> From some, someone's Car basically Backed into him And the, the Like a Billionaire probably Guy Got into a fight They started yelling And they got in And then he just Started biting off the guy's nose and then some people then like people started trying to break it up and they're all both bloody he's got a piece of the guy's flesh in yes. his mouth and he's like what do you do he's like i'm the head of beyond meat the vegetarian well, that's what happens <laughs> when you get you get all jacked up from sporting events because yeah. he was leaving the arkansas like missouri game or yeah. something like that and he's just he said a subaru <laughs> kept inching his way uh and in front of he has a bronco so yeah. this guy that's a car that means business yeah bronco, yeah yeah I that's think. a that's a, a snub those new ones too. too yeah those new broncos yeah, That's yeah, I, yeah. Going, yeah. I think I would bite in a fight pretty fast. Well, he opened with <laughs> smashing with his fist the rear window. Through. Rear windshield, or window. Whoa. You drive away if some guy is trying to That's punch into your great. windshield. That's Like, if someone yeah. does that, they go like, oh, so you just don't care about your hand? Yeah. Nothing like a yeah, arm? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just trying to punch through? You're not going to respect the tip of my nose. You break my back rear window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you're, getting, you're biting your noses. <laughs> my best friend growing up got his nose bit off. Really? What? Yeah. Yeah, my, bo my boy Ron Bader it was in a fight in college. And maybe just after college he was a tough kid and he would always get in fights around town but he got f I watched the only fight I s saw him do uh, as we were older I, f I saw him fight some dude at a tailgate for St. Joe's did Prep. they reattach it or did he just had go a hole they in the did face? but it didn't work out that well like, oh no it's like they had to put a thumb there like dirty work they like have to do like a skin graft and it's like a lot of so, so he looks weird he bit yeah it's obvious and it's like is he does, I haven't seen him in years but <laughs> he's probably hitting the bottle pretty hard <laughs> now eh 
Well, the, we all did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, did he look like you remember Chris Farley in Dirty Work? When yeah, yeah. It was off? it was pretty fucked up at first. Saigon Hooker. I, think, I feel yeah. like one. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it was him or another dude, but one, it didn't take at first. So like, Ooh. like you know, the skin can die, and then you have to take it Ooh. off, and you, you can't you wear it. Oh, and, not taking looks not good either. Yeah, dude. Yeah. So oh. he's he's snub nose too. <laughs> you ever you ever see the snub nose bear? You ever look up a snub nose bear? No. Holy I fuck, I dude! You probably have showed it to me. It's it's Does like it look like its nose was bitten off. Legendary. Or yeah, it's huge. Short, or short it's nose. the ancient bear that was huge. Short nose, snub nose. Was, so, yeah. yeah, all right, flat, guys. Flat it it would just kill villages. It was like the size. It was a bear, but a dinosaur. Oh, and oh, you know what? I think <laughs> yeah. I saw a photo of it recently. Actually, there yeah. was two guys beside one of them. Yeah, like, and it's like, yeah, I waited. They ton. only get up to like their ankle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're it's fucking massive, yeah. and, and they would just come in and just fucking. They would just. I should have saved it. Yeah. Yeah, you wasted your rogue. You got all these bear facts, dude. They used to have like villagers, like 30 of them, set up like traps where like, I guess they get one like slow lady like this way. Yeah. <laughs> and then they would dig like giant, you know, they figured out the only way to kill them was to, for them to fall in giant trenches. Oh, wow. But probably it's eaten for like months. Oh, the dude would just come like clear villages and they go to the next town, clear villages. But I'm saying if you catch one of those things, oh, yeah, you're, yeah. you're eating you're that good. village. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, that's good. Bear meat though, is that good? I think back then well, you'd probably just take Back then, had. yeah. You'd probably all right. Back yeah. then was probably like chicken. So you can imagine living in an era where there are animals you couldn't kill? <clears throat> like physically yeah. yeah Do you guys ever Because you live together Do you ever have Like we get together And like Do you cook for each other Or is it every man For himself in the house I cook for him Yeah he cooks for me I That's made eggs nice. once yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah made, did, you, did you did you do like weaponized <laughs> and <laughs> made made so much. Yeah, bri- 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 he made that for a while. <laughs> he made three years. He made me eggs. Dude, once. he made eggs once too. I've heard the story. <laughs> I think I made a PB and J once too. <laughs> yeah, you got to make the bad eggs the first time, and then the girls be like, oh, his girlfriend can't cook, and you go. Ah. His girl straight up was like, he made her eggs once, and there was like no salt, pepper, nothing, just here's some eggs. Savage dude. Yeah, she was, this is like first to fuck, is, like first night. Too. Yeah. I would rather she, say I don't cook. And honestly, this is I had no. He doesn't though. I didn't have any idea that this was an issue until like my. Months later, where she's like, "Can you believe the eggs?" I go, "You had a problem with the eggs?" <laughs> <laughs> no idea. You've been eating that way your whole life. No, I had no idea. Yeah, you put salt on something. Like, what did you do to these? <laughs> no, honestly. No, no, Ryan. Right, you put salt on his eggs. He starts yeah, sweating. Yeah. He's like, "What? what is whole this? habanero or <laughs> shit? shit? What's going on here?" Oh, when I so I was in Miami this week, and honestly. The the people we went to one fancy restaurant. It's re, it's the way that they do it. First of all, I the way that they talk, they go, um, uh, so anyways, you guys want any a brusquette? Yeah, yeah. So they have yeah. to, they say uh, all the fancy words, yeah. right? And then they have like a uh, potato <clears throat> espinata. Like they're yeah. saying all these things, and it's literally home fries with some cheese yeah. on it. <laughs> yeah. And they, they, and I go, you're not much fancier than I am. You, you know, we're not that different, me and you. you know, <laughs> Isn't that the whole thing with fucking like aioli? Isn't that just like mayo. mayonnaise? It's mayo. All uh, of the things juice. are pretty normal. They yeah. just just like present it differently and give it well, a they fancier just, name. Well, they give the name of a, just a different country. Like it's just they're going. And yeah. they say what they it call weird. it in Italy. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, a potato, a spinata. You go. It's, it's home fries. <laughs> <laughs> it's Forty dollar home fries. Well, speaking it's of just, Miami, are the uh, are the fake asses the technology fake getting any better? Everything over there, but oh, you don't like the way they it's, look. No, we're in, this is phase one of fake dumps. I know we're in I phase like four thumbs. of titty bombs. Yeah, so titty you're, you're bombs, so right. I think that you're probably silicone titty bombs feel really good, be, whereas before they were just like they would look like pastry chef over like a baseball. Yeah, you know, like yeah. this, like uh, you know, like uh, strudel. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's a little thin. a little potato mashed potato. Yeah, 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 like your old white trash aunt finally had enough money. She sold like an Iraq Z, <laughs> and she had just two big rocks with skin like real tight wound around it. So now tits are great, but yeah. the, the fake asses they you could Brutal. see it's a shelf. They go right out and they're out on the corners. They're, they're, yeah, and they're like yeah, they look terrible. No, they're they're, they're all over the I, yeah. I think that the technology is still what you're saying in the first trimester. Yeah, we went to the we went to the this place eleven with like our like our. We know Miami guys. This guy Carlos Hernandez, Sneeko, like all these fucking yeah, like proper Sneeko. Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Sneeko, he's Sneeko's been living there. Cook. He's been, he, I don't Sneeko's. know if he was that, but he's been living there for two months. He's already or two weeks. He's already got all white everything. Yeah, like yeah. he's in it, right? Yeah. These guys know every they all a Cuban commit. accent. They know yeah. every doorman. Both of them. I was like, oh, he knows a guy. He's like, I know a guy. They, they both like we. I know every doorman. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like a. It's a <laughs> point of pride that they know the door. It's like us trying to say who's yelling, who's louder. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're arguing about who's louder yeah, earlier. But they actually have something of worth. So we yeah. went there. It's First of all, they got tra- trapeze wild. artists on this place. And then you get the lap dances in, in broad public. So everyone's getting like, there's all these guys with like four girls just like crawling all over them and stuff like that. 
everyone's just throwing money everywhere. Mm. There's just ra- one, you know, a random old guy that'll just be sitting there and he's got two girls on his lap, one girl onto her lap. He's just, you're creating these like orgy lap dances situations in the middle of. And you can just like pull out your phone and record anything there because it's like they don't <laughs> they consider themselves like, like a nightclub with strippers. Yeah, you uh, you so can they're not, just topless, but there's just so topless, many yeah. of them you cannot <clears throat> make it to the bathroom without getting like. Oh, they're so aggressive. You know, I hate yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. This is the worst case yes, scenario. I, I, yeah, I like this. You feel sought <laughs> after. <laughs> That's a benefit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That feels good to feel wanted. That's so annoying. I don't know. I went with my girl. It was just like, <laughs> oh, that's all right. Well, that's, well you can fine. get a lap. Yeah, yeah, it, was yeah. fine. it was fine. I was just like, I don't know. Oh, they knew a guy with a booth too, well, so we're sitting there drinking other people's vodka yeah, with dude. a thing too. I can't. It was a I scene. Can't, any attention, yeah. even if they're hot. Like I can't. There's a sneaker shop on Steinway that I can't go into. There's two hot girls that work there. You know how every 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 shop in a dog shit town just puts a hot chick in the front as a Got hostess. Yeah. You put the hot broad on the on the curb. <laughs> the, 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 the gargoyles the pigs, are in the kitchen. Yeah, the pigs will come. <laughs> the carts. Yeah, but they're in the wood shop in the kitchen. <laughs> Why don't yeah, I? You, told, you promised boys. me eventually I'd get uh, promoted from the kitchen. You go, it's coming for sure. <laughs> yeah. Once you get that wonky yeah, tooth, yeah, yeah. keep doing CrossFit. You'll get. But you go into this sneaker shop, you get p- pounded by these two women nonstop. Oh, how about this? How about this? Do you like this? And you're like, I'm just perusing. But it's just sneakers? No, they're sneakers and like shoes and stuff. Like, no, so, like, these would look good on you. And like, and, and I know they yeah. won't. <laughs> They're gaudy yeah. Eastern European boardwalk shoes. <laughs> I wouldn't wear those on fucking Halloween. Get out of my face. That's so funny walking in there and you're like, I'll wait outside. You see your buddy. Walking. Like, they're not going to take advantage of me. You see him walking out with He's like got four tracks. Yeah. <laughs> Low the yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the, dude, <laughs> the yeah. alligator fucking yeah. shit. <laughs> That's the dude at the strip club going, no, this one likes me, dude. <laughs> Spent five hundred bucks for a hand job I never got. Yo, that's so funny. Given the you go into the store and they convince you to, you look good and you're like, do I? Yeah, they got, you got yeah. you in some like Miami club shirt all of a sudden. Oh. <laughs> I've made that mistake before, going down to Florida and getting like a Hawaiian shirt and being like, this actually is pretty comfortable. Oh, yeah. It looks good. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna wear this when I get back for sure. You get back, at least that's a bit of a joke. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the funniest the is you worst. got your same normal everything else yeah. except for one stupid fancy <laughs> Miami <laughs> shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you're wearing sweatpants with ketchup on. You're like, look at this, huh? <laughs> <laughs> went to Florida. <laughs> who, guess who went to Florida? Guess. <laughs> Yeah, they got an eight thousand dollar <laughs> wallet in the pocket of your track pants now. <laughs> Our strippers, strippers got to be changing up their jargon though, right? I, the the hooker stripper speak like that. The lot, the honeys and the babies. I hate it. <laughs> honey babies. Yeah, yeah they, I, think honey, honey, I think they're. I think they're on that honey, still. Baby, baby, you got a baby. Oh yeah. I hate that stuff. Yeah. That's why if I'm in an actual relationship and someone calls me honey or baby, I'm like, don't do that. Yeah, how is this helping? How often do you frequent a strip joke? What? <laughs> yeah, where you're like effect? traumatized. It's like <laughs> moved into your relationship. You no, know, I just know. I heard so one I, pig call me baby. No, his girl, yeah, yeah, his I wouldn't be like, did my wife just call her baby? <laughs> no, no, I'm not worried about the person I'm with being No, like he's saying stripper. the stripper saying? walks up and they're like, hey, baby. And he goes, ah! <laughs> oh, no, it usually comes after. You don't want your loved one to call you baby. Yes, because it's empty. It's shallow. It's not empty from her though yeah. it is they're doing stripper talk <laughs> is that what you're saying like yeah. you, you, me up your girlfriend yeah. will be like hey baby you go you think i'm fucking stupid well, yeah. you got some, yeah. you got some mark no is that all our love is to you you're gonna say honeys and babies to me just a john come up with something new <laughs> yeah. yeah jesus christ you think i don't fucking know think about it yeah. yeah yeah just think about it for a second yeah. come up with something you need tell your girlfriend you're hanging out strip clubs without telling your girlfriend you're hanging out <laughs> <laughs> Did you just call me baby none yeah. of that here yeah. <laughs> none of that here where's the champagne room yeah yeah, yeah we yeah. don't have a champagne we don't room. have fluorescent lights yeah. behind us <laughs> none of that in the house <laughs> no, it's more like this it goes it, she goes honey and he goes all right <laughs> Oh wait a second! No wait! No 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 no! Yeah! No no yeah. no no no! We're putting that money away. I like hanging out with Chris. He just keeps asking me to break twenties every time I call him baby. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Go to laundromat, get yourself something nice. Bring back nineteen one. Just put put a little bit in their sweatpants band. <laughs> I'll tell you a wild thing I had on the plane though. Uh, fucking so Miami plane, Miami heat. It's like boiling hot. AC's broken on the plane. You're oh. maybe the most snake bitten travel person. Never. And by the way, their end back had problems. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, but like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, honestly, I'm back and the Uber. But the I've, airline, start, I've started to not want to make uh, and yeah I've started to not well also he sent us to the wrong address yeah, so yeah, yeah. maybe it's him yeah it might be him <laughs> <laughs> well one of them is him actually the Uber was you 
here on the flight. No AC. I don't. I just got can't. Size Z, size Z tits you're wearing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sweating my ass. Oh, that's over. actually He's a got good a paper one. Towel going that one. Because you know it's giant fake tits. You know they charge you for an extra seat if you're too fat. Yeah. They can't charge you for being trans. No. You kidding? Oh, yeah. that's the airline. Get that go. A seat, you get a free seat for the Where puppies. Where fucking yeah. we? Go that on a Spirit Airlines. Yeah. Be like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize Spirit Airlines was the transphobic airline. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I guess Extreme I'll tweet that trans- out to my 150,000 <laughs> followers. <laughs> yeah, What's yeah. your name, Sally? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you have to check those tits if they're not? No, that's super They definitely have to. No, yeah. that's. that's yeah. Dude, what about this hands-on know. security going? Like, try not yeah. to smirk through this going. Sorry, Our sorry, c- miss. That's come, more than yeah. three ounces. Come, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do I, I'm sorry. Do I call you ma'am? You're like, yeah, I do. You call yeah. me ma'am. <laughs> you, can we just see what's under the tits? We have to check the tits. They do feel yeah, pretty good. I got felt up both ways, too. They do. They do have a pretty funny move, though. When they feel your dick, they just go like this back, on back it. Of the hand. Yeah, yeah. The back, the yeah. back of the hand. It feels Did you ever see that cop? My leash. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, back of the hand is more fucking, fucking queer, you know. Like if you just went like, "All right, cup check." Like, yeah, yeah. You'd be cool about it. Yeah. Come yeah, here, kiddo. Cool. What we got on there? <laughs> just be cool about it. None of this. <laughs> just goose you. Yeah. Yeah. It's more. It's more. It's more sensual. Yeah. You're moving it like beads in a palm reader's office. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like a girl who knows how to get you hard properly, you know? <laughs> She's trying to take a little slow. You try and get through like, yeah. <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> Let me see the balls. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what are we working with here? <laughs> I'd like to come in from behind. Did you ever see that? Like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Grab so funny. The, secur- the security airport guy that's Dude. switching things up a bit. Did you ever see that police video? That all right, got to just check this. There's like a, I don't know if it's cops. I got to walk all the way around. Or a, yeah. a dash cam. There's this, there's this black dude in, in cuffs and the cops like patting him down. He goes, he's like, what's this? What do we got right here? Oh, yeah. And he's like, it's my dick. <laughs> he goes, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> I, remember that. I think at one point he was like, "Good for you, man." <laughs> Good for you. Yeah, nice. Yeah, nice, dude. Sick heart. Well, I guarantee you guys won't agree. This story is my fault because the it was so hot. So you're sitting in the plane with the air condition going for an off for 45 minutes. Everyone's, you know, if you, I've probably made eye contact with 15 people where you go, ugh. Yeah, you know, yeah. we're, we all have camaraderie <laughs> about how crazy this is at this point. And then <clears throat> you just hear a lady start screaming. So like maybe a 50 year old like Latin kind of woman. She's like, ah. Uh, <laughs> and she's having a like panic has a, like a panic attack and she can't breathe so she starts going crazy like they all rush on <gasps> ah! she's bawling her eyes out doing this and then you know everyone's like oh god another thing right <laughs> so she starts having this <clears throat> everyone rushes her out they're trying to get her out but she won't move all the commotion in the world she's bawling her eyes out and then they finally get her off and they go all right everybody we're deboarding the plane because of that happened get the fuck what? out of here yeah Jesus Christ! Yeah. What did you want to get off though? Or you want- Dude, no, I wanted the plane to take off. Dude, oh, this happened really to me in Atlanta, so I had to catch a second flight. The plane rolls in. They they had us waiting to get our gas filled, and the tank wasn't the the lock wasn't engaging. And you okay. could see out the window, this dude's like fucking with the lock. We had to wait for yeah. like a second mechanic <clears throat> to come through. Then the fatties in the back of the plane start getting worked up. They're like, the air. <laughs> I don't yeah. get why they can't run the air, though. I know. Well, the, I guess they were the gas. Oh, right. like, oh, they had like no gas. They, they, they need no the gas. engine. They, they like yeah. to get it just like bone dry yeah. before they so they put, us on, the, they like put us on the flight. And then the guys was they were people just started complaining how hot it was. So the captain's like, all right, well, if we're gonna not gonna be off here in a little bit, but uh, telling now, we're if we deboard, we're gonna have to reboard the same process. It'll take another. And he's like, he looks at the list. He's like, we have about 30 to 35 people that are trying to take a connecting flight here, which could affect it. Uh, I'll leave it up to you guys. And the fat's like, I want to get off. Oh, I'd yeah. kill him. Be like, take your, get, you get off and get a new plane, buddy. Yeah. And then I, we, you know, they put you up at a, a nice hotel and I slept with a Russian. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I, I do think that, like... <laughs> Where'd the Russian come from? Safe yeah. flight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Come on, yeah. on the flight? Hotel well, yeah, bars are from, uh, filled with s- sexual tension. Yeah. You picked up a girl at the hotel bar? I've never flight. been at a hotel bar, like, where I... Like, the staying overnight ones. Yeah. yeah. So you, you just pull your, your thing up, and everybody, by that point, we get yeah. out of, the, out of the, the tarmac, and all the things are closed. So like, and you have like the shared like trauma yes. experience of like he this high mare that you fuck in an airport. Yeah, 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 yeah. everybody's it's got it's a lock-in. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you guys remember lock-ins? No. no. 
Really? You never did like a lock in at your church or anything like that? Oh uh, no. Where you all do like yeah, they all like you could just stay at like the school or the church like overnight. You guys never did that? And you just finger people? <laughs> oh my god. You know, your, your teachers are yeah, there. Yeah. It's yeah, obviously you, like, you're not supposed little... to tell your parents about it. Yeah, it's a sleepover <laughs> at the church. Or like a yeah. For what? The community? Yeah, it's like all the kids. You're in knuckling some girl inside church? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> I Where know you're you like that, that baby. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me Honey. baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so like you roll up your suitcase and everybody's like, lean over, over the bar like, just give me a fucking whiskey or something. And then you strike up a conversation. And it's It uh, really does feel like so that's hot. really up your alley, by oh, the way. Oh, it's so hot, dude. <laughs> I, oh, soon, I would love it. Yeah. As soon as I walk into an airport, I get turned on. I feel like you're like a Kaiser Soze, Kaiser Soze kind of thing where like you're the guy who was like, Jimmied up the gas compartment <laughs> so they couldn't get in. <laughs> all yeah, to my plan. Yeah, 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 yeah. The fat guy's like, I went off. I'm like, me too. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, throw so my voice in like a lady voice, like, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I already find my kill. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a lion yeah, like, stalking three. for a slow elk. <laughs> There she is. She got a Russian accent. I went off this plane. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best scam of all time. You just live in the... Yeah, because uh, that's how you get a hotel room yeah. every night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I light a cigarette in the bathroom and skedaddle. I'm yeah. like, somebody smoking in the bathroom. I feel like we should get off the plane and head to the Applebee's bar. <laughs> Winking at every girl as you leave. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping cards. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dude, I get horny in airports, too. Yeah. I get so Medium. horny in airports. Do you get horny in airports? Uh, I've gotten a boner here and there, but I don't think it's like a specific. I think there's a lot really? of hot chicks walking by. That's feels, maybe something. Yeah, it feels God. like full of potential. And hotel bars? A hotel bars should have bowls of condoms. How often do you have the hotel bars? Dude, I'm not at the bar beside the like the flight. What are you, you going to do there? I go... I oh, you're talking well, about in the terminal. No, He's I'm talking, talking about regular like hotel off bars. The premises. Regular hotel bars. How are you there so often? Are you Any just hotel going to, I ever stay at. So you go and pretend you had a flight that I'll got go, canceled? No, 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 no. I'm just sidetracking. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all, all, all my materials flight canceled materials. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I just got a suitcase full of like goobers and trolley gummy wear. <laughs> Just like walk into a hotel bar, you just, just in look case up. Things go oh, south. At least I'll have a bad no, you always have, then they'll really go south. How you doing? You always have the pretzels just to be like, that's how you start it. You go, oh, I guess not these and these. <laughs> Dude, there's little biscuit cookies hit. from yeah. Delta. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what they give you on the flight, I guess. Yeah. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Travel toothbrush in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, where are you headed, baby? <laughs> I live around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's such a scam. <laughs> Where's Tommy? He's at LaGuardia again. His favorite, <laughs> his favorite spot. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what, I have been at a bar like late at night uh, solo because let's say someone else left and you stick it out and you act like your friends are all still yeah, there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, dude. yeah, for sure. Like yes. at the club, you're like, I don't know, they're here for sure somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll go grab them and then fucking. I've done that for sure. It's the adult thrill That's that brilliant. I used to get when you're 20s, when you would just go out every night. You'd be like, I'm, totally. I'm going to go home with somebody. The last time I did that was forced with John Nunn, the dude I was telling you about. I used to stay with him when I first got here, like nine years ago or whatever. And he locked his keys out and he was in a different borough and I couldn't get a hold of him because he was like that when he was a drunk. Now he's not, he's sober. But he would just disappear. So I couldn't get in his house. So then I had to go to a... Uh, and you pulled it off? Yeah, I did. I was like, I have to go to a bar and get laid. I have to f walk around and ask some... I'm not sleeping on the street. I didn't know anybody. So I went to the nearest pub in Bushwick and I met a girl and she took me to fucking Harlem. Immediately. Yeah, she lived in a How'd project you look? building. She looked beautiful, but I didn't know she you lived. You did? She lived with the, her family in the projects. Yeah, but, but you probably went Whoa. back to the family? Yeah. What was she, that? I didn't know that. Like she goes, you want to come back to my place? I was like, yeah, I think I could do that. You know, acting like it was my whole fucking <laughs> life. <laughs> sure. I don't know. I got a mansion that's accessible. So, yeah. <laughs> she goes, why don't we go there? It's not okay. I lied. Uh, was the family there when you woke up? I think I skedaddled like really early. I forget. I, I saw her little brother. I didn't see her like Dude, her that's dad. so funny. She was Spanish. Girl, too, bringing so was... home back to the thing and the brothers, you're waking up to the brother yeah, like breathing in a fucking. Eye. I remember walking down the steps. Which might actually like... be the son. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I never know. You'd, I would never know. And you will never know. I will never <laughs> Sketchy know. Sketchy business too. You know, the Spanish dad anxiety. could be unhappy, yeah, right? Yeah, thinking about Spanish it. Spanish dad, who the fuck? Yes. Who the fuck are you? Yeah. And you go, my flight got canceled. Yeah. <laughs> go, here are some pretzels. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You successfully sneak out of a house like that, though. You're like, I could have joined the Navy SEALs. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like deadly quiet. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, I think I jogged like two blocks once I got outside of that little premises. Oh, you probably had a little pep yeah. in your step after oh, pulling that one off triple axle. For sure, dude. <laughs> Speed walking to the coffee <laughs> shop. <laughs> Just in case they release the hounds. On <laughs> that, was one, that was one thing that I was even like I was gonna say that earlier, but like the like the living together. That's <laughs> other cultures. They never <clears throat> stop doing that. I feel like and like they all kind of live with their boys forever, and then the girls just move in. And you guys are you guys are living like people that aren't white live when they get older. Yeah. They like still have their boys, and if the girl comes, they just kind of move into the house too. It rules, dude. <laughs> and dude. Shane, Shane went from our floor. I know upstairs, so it's like yeah. It's still, most you move upstairs, but it's like. Yeah. It's way better. It's amazing. Yeah, it's yeah, it's pretty much the most fun. It's and the our, worst part about being older is you have to live with girls. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And your boys are gone. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. the dude and they see how you live. It's funny, like when someone yeah. on the podcast yeah. <laughs> on your business, they're up in your business. It's terrible. Like a podcast fan, like dude, you're forty something with roommates. Like, what, what's that? And I was like, your your wife is your roommate. Yeah, too. yeah. You, yeah, have, you a have a roommate. You're just too. not having fun. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't. You also don't fuck. Yeah. I bet. Yeah. Very likely. So <laughs> I got a mate. You're not allowed to go Because I'm fucking my roommates yeah. and I'm living with them. <laughs> 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 no, having the squad around is the way to do it's it. It's awesome. Dude. But it's hard to like, it's just hard to pull off. But you guys are fucking, that's when I, when I go back to you, when I go to your place, I'm like, I could fucking do this again. Yeah, this yeah, is the, yeah. Dude, this is the yeah. ticket, dude. It's a vibe, dude. <laughs> yeah. Dude, vibe. I'm full on Kramer in, <laughs> in Shane's apartment. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm bursting through that door. What are you doing? <clears throat> Coffee? <clears throat> Yeah, really You're going through their fridge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. milk's expired. You spent like three days up there. Dude. You, you. Oh, it yeah. doesn't take much to get the touch of O'Connor around. There's he. There's something on every fucking table. <laughs> you used the couch. The cushions were like on the floors, <laughs> like an old McDonald's bag. And I'm like, you better clean this. You better tidy this up before Papa oh, yeah. Shane gets home. Well, everything's disposable uh, <laughs> in my in my life. <laughs> Instead of cleaning, I just throw oh, everything shit. out. <laughs> yeah, it's not that way. Well, this French dentist was jailed for mutilating patients. Do you guys see the French dentist? No. Oh, oh I saw this big on the news. I'm telling you, it was wacky story after wacky story this week. What? What? He was purposely fucking people's teeth up so he'd get more Yo, money? This guy That's just a regular so dentist. It is, dude. That's I, just dentist. Well, veterinarian rocks. for sure. You want to talk about this fucking... This guy something? was pulling out. He was... People were going out. He goes, all 35 of them got to go. What? No. Yeah, dude. Dude, patients that were needed a loose crown ended up having their full mouth of healthy teeth removed. Oh my god! Like full root canals where they shit or like where they shave all the tip teeth down yeah. the little fucking yeah, widgets yeah. for veneers. And then, widgets. And they put <laughs> they put full teeth on them. This guy had this operation going for a bit. He's like thirty five or something. I'm telling you, there's, there's a lot of dentists sweating right now. <clears throat> when this came out because dude, didn't they give him like yeah they are they now. are all crooked. Dude, I remember I went right before I moved here. I went to like you know I was like I'm gonna go to the dentist before I moved to America because I had my dentist in Toronto and then it was like it was actually this kind of newer one and then the dentist comes in and he's like he tried to give me this presentation about why I needed like all this shit and it was like a PowerPoint but you could tell he was mentally so checked out like he just was like wants the money like yeah. he's like I yeah. think about <clears throat> golf or something and yeah. he's just like pointing thing he goes yeah it's this and like no enthusiasm whatsoever I was like I'm good and then and nothing came of it like of I course like, no problems until they crack the exterior where all the sugar and the bacteria comes from to infect the interior, you're fine. Yeah. My dad has never been to a dentist. Really? He's never been to how a dentist. They, how they look? The His teeth. teeth look like a seventh century cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say they're fucking leaning on each other. It's like mold in the corners. You know when you see like an old soldier and there's like green mold in the inside. Oh. There's ghosts of bacteria in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, my mom is just haunting him in the back. Uh, no, but he's never he's never pierced because he was a conspiracy theorist around the shit. What's his the and my that's a good like that's I love the guys that are into like conspiracy theories, yeah. but they're all like low, it's like low level conspiracy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dennis is pretty fucking serious, dude. Because any cavity, any cavity tooth that I had it from my youth, eventually turns into a root canal. Just if you well, play sports, is, you crack your teeth. I've heard like reputable people say that uh, most cavities the the do the dentists do you. Probably didn't. Yeah, because one, some of them expand. Like some cavities expand, and some are just they are. Mm. And the ones that expand, you need to get filled. But the right. ones that don't are just like you don't need. To yeah, fill. yeah. But they they don't show you the technology. They don't have the technology to to show you. Do you remember like fucking 10, 15, 20 years ago, or even thirty years ago, the blur of the X ray that they would show you to prove that you have a cavity and need. They go work, see, and you go, I don't and you're know. like, what am I looking at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is the that. same thing. 
Yeah, there'd just be like a little shape, and they'd be like, just yeah. an insurance. That's yeah. it's an oh, insurance that's not scam because everybody yes. who goes to the dentist mostly has insurance, and they're like, how do we bilk the insurance company out of the most amount of money possible? I got a yeah. crown uh, six months ago. The guy told me he's like, don't get insurance for dental. It's the only insurance you should never get. It's so such a waste of money, and you, you you'll get a cleaning once a year, which is like hundred bucks, and we can give you a discount. Yeah, like when do, a dentist, yeah. oral surgeon is telling you not to get fucking dental surgery. This guy's got your back. Yeah, and I was like, "You're my guy now. <laughs> You're my fucking guy." Yeah. They're mostly mechanics. Like yeah. they're the same. The like same a job. Yeah. Yeah. Like a chiropractor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, chiropractor. Like chiropractor is the fake. Even doctor, better. Yeah. They, That's right, yeah. Chiropractor. They don't even need to like show you an X-ray. They go, yeah. "Oh, you're gonna need all of it." Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 we yeah. go, "I don't even really have anything." You go, oh, bye, yeah, wait, okay. till, "Wait till you." <laughs> leave, you go, yeah, yeah. If you can feel what I'm feeling right now, yeah, you'd be mortgaging your house. No, let's go. Over the different packages we yeah, have, yeah. <laughs> we've got the wooden post, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> buddy. They're fucking timeshare salesmen. The chiropractor, dude. I went yeah. to a chiropractor in uh, Stye Town actually. I had this. Oh, like, he loves neck. it. Yeah. No, no, no. I sucker. hate. No, no, no. This is the <laughs> oh, worst. Really? It was the craziest experience of my life. He tried to sell me this like. Uh, supersonic like thing where I had to take <laughs> it home and like massage. And he's like, yeah, it's like twenty five bucks a day. And then I like looked it up, and it was honestly like a, like an Amway kind of like scam. Like a the whole, day, no. dude. It was like you take. He's like, yeah, you just like rent it for like I don't know. Bring it back to me in like a week or Wait, something. It was multi level marketing. It was like just yeah. The all biggest, you have to do is sell it to five more people. Dude, it was like <laughs> such a no. It was like a scam. Like the thing, and then you will look it up online. Everybody's like, yeah, this thing doesn't work at all. And you could tell this guy was just, and he was asking me about comedy and stuff. And he's like, yeah, I did comedy for like a week. <laughs> oh, and then and he honestly goes, he's like, yeah, I um, he goes, what do you think about like I've been thinking about doing because I've done I went to school for like film like. Maybe like I do some like stand up, but like with just no crowd. Is he rubbing your back at this point? No, no, no. This is like a <laughs> consultation. And honestly, this is one of those things where I was so many red flags, and I still was like, okay, we could proceed a bit. I don't. But he was like, what if like you just do that where you like film yourself doing stand up in front of just like a brick wall, but no crowd, <laughs> and then you put that out? And I was like, I'm not here for this. Dude, yeah. That is neck. insane. And then he had this weird. You uh, went back a second time though. Yeah, because I, I paid for it in advance. That's what happened. He's, I, like, he's like, I paid for it, and then he... Uh, uh, yeah, dude, and then I was like... Why this. don't you just film in front of a brick dude, wall? The whole when your thing, dentist is thinking how to scam your job, he's dude, like... Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> dude, there yeah, were so yeah. many red flags. He's already figured out his. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, already, yeah he's already figured out I his can job. move on you can, now. You can buy Instagram followers, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, he was literally... <laughs> you can, well, your your, your chiropractor's literally first thing about your job is why don't you fake it? Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I felt like I was one step away from him putting me on like you know the <clears throat> 1930s like the band that's just like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. for weight loss or whatever like he's like just like hook up to this thing and I was like yeah, oh, yeah, oh no, no, God. No. also what, what he was selling you was like a Theragun and they're like 35 but it bucks. wasn't a Theragun because it had like a, a hypersonic like cold it was uh, it was it was honestly like that scam 50, language for 50 sure buzzwords. Yeah. Yeah. also it sounds yeah, yeah. good now yeah. it's faster than sound dude it was like 50 buzzwords in it's this one little thing it was not says it's cold. It was hot. Yeah, imagine was walking hot. in for a massage, walking away with a daily charge. <laughs> <laughs> also, this guy got like, he got some serious time, right? Didn't he get like Buddy, 15, 20 years? This guy's going away for a minute. So it says the officer spoke with both parties and witness and determined that his, uh, oh, that is the wrong story. <laughs> his name is Guedes, accused of, por oh, 4,000 root canals is how many he did on 330 patients. So he basically was hitting these couple. He, he found his sucker. 4,000. Like, Dude, imagine going back for your like ninth root canal. I guess the truth is once you start giving people root canals, you probably fuck some other shit. Every time you do one, you wreck one. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel like we got to be getting close, though, to just getting beyond, people aren't happy to. The guy beyond goes, teeth, you know? Yeah. Like well, I, some people I, are. When, when I, th I got a one <clears throat> crown, and I kind of like it. Why? Honestly, the first time I got it, I was kind of... Can't get a cavity. Yeah. And it, it felt like, you know, when Luke first gets his, like, fake hand? <laughs> That's what it felt. It's like, actually, I'll tell you what, bad. Though. Imagine all your teeth are <clears throat> fake and white. Yeah. Well, and you know, and don't people get grills? Like, they're mangle your teeth. Like, the real grills where they file them all down. And you're like, That's yeah. it. You're yeah, done yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, this is true, because I'm a fucking freak about it, but and fake And if they, teeth, like, secreted toothpaste and shit? Fake they're, like, teeth. They're, self-cleaning? And shelf, like, grills and stuff th that is... Th Nine times out of ten, their breath is disgusting. Yeah, well. Because Why? Because stuff gets stuck in them. Yeah. Grills especially. You're right. Like, how do you floss a grill? Dude. So unless <laughs> you're already flossing. You go, yeah. floss. I'm constantly flossing. <laughs> no, every night you got to put them in that like, yeah. dental thing. I was that just going to say that. That bakes the instruments. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, but, it's but you can't, some of them don't come out though. Like some of them are actually like in there permanently. So, permanently, so yeah. people with grills generally have bad breath. Yeah, they got 100%. to. Yeah, and, or people with like one or two veneers. Like they got their front teeth knocked uh-huh. out. You'll see like they try and grow it on a nub again, but like they're. Oh. Yeah. If you're not up to par. If you unless you have the top dog, all, it's like just uh, it's like a it's bacteria. Just bacteria. Trap. It's yeah. just open dead growth. It's like the fucking underside of a boat. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Barnacles. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Barnacles all over your mouth. <clears throat> Dude, I'll I forget everything. But uh, Tony <clears throat> Baker said this once. On a, he's like, I'll f- I I don't remember shit, but I'll remember if I smell your breath. I'll remember what day it was, where yeah. the sun was, what you were wearing. <laughs> like, I, that's unforgivable. Oh, yeah, especially there was like a the gr- rotting. There was a friend of yes. ours. That, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Extreme breath. Like, yeah. 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 Like, this is Dude, they, but it never stops. It's always the same people. <clears throat> and yeah. there was someone that did a, uh, a girl we know did a like, hey, there's a lot of guys in this scene that have bad breath. If you want, anonymously message me and I'll tell you whether it's you. And she said a couple of the people, she broke the news to them. But They didn't the- know? I don't think I don't know No one tells you I, I would never tell anyone that I'd die first Yeah You gotta right. be kinda close With somebody Yeah I would. T- I know? think I would tell My really close friends There's the two different know. types There's like You have bread breath Right now Or you yeah. always have it I mean Right yeah, now yeah. I'll fucking tell yeah, you yeah, right, yeah. right 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 Like this is a chronic Problem you have <clears throat> I think I've st- Just we just part our ways I think <laughs> I know <laughs> Dude I still Anytime someone offers me A piece of gum I'm like why What's happening <laughs> <laughs> You would be yeah, super Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, What do you mean Yeah You, you took <laughs> one <laughs> You took one tic tac You gave me three <laughs> <laughs> What the yeah. fuck Is that all about I bet you that's everything With you Everyone's like Hold this you think I need to work out? Is that yeah. What <laughs> <laughs> what the Everybody's fuck, always scheming. <laughs> yeah, you everyone's you, afraid to tell me the hey, truth. You want you want to yeah. bite? You want some fries? You think I'm skinny? Is that what's going on? Just every fucking. <laughs> I like those shoes on you. Why? Because they got thick soles. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why are me short? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're basically just Joe Pesci. Yeah. <laughs> Joe Fowles. Yeah, but I mean, if you could smell your friend's breath. Because like you're yes. not getting that tight, so it's like if you know it's bad, then I think you tell them. Well, that's the thing. If you're only seeing someone every once in a while, you can sometimes chalk it up and maybe they're having a bad day. Yeah. But if you're every day, you got to let them know. You got to. Well, you're be right. Like, it always comes from like a pr- dental thing. Yeah. Yeah. You it's gotta, dental or halitosis, which is gut. That's your two options. How do you fix halitosis? Now apparently, <laughs> I thought you couldn't do halitosis, dude. I am obsessed with bed breath. It's the most disgusting. It'll level me and wobble my knees. And you, you ever turn down a girl without yeah, it? Or you oh, just do it from a behind? thousand percent. <laughs> yeah, bad breath is just like a bad pussy. It's like you're not going down there if it's mangled. With I'm not stink. going down anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't doing any of that gay shit yeah, on her birthday. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I can, dicks have touched it. I think you can fix it. I think you drink <laughs> like you again? drink like a, a a chemical now that kills it. But before you couldn't do shit. I feel like you just like back in the day, people must had some wild garlic. Bread. I feel like you just like eat tons of garlic. It would do that. I don't. Know, I think that you reek like garlic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You reek like it's a new set of problems. Yeah, dude. People <laughs> stunk yeah. so bad. For most of human history, people stunk. They never showered. Yeah, but everybody stunk back then, so it didn't matter. Yeah, know? and it was probably more it's like a like locker locker room of hockey pads. It's like right, they all right. stink like shit. It's all relative. Yeah, I brought that up for you guys, the Canadians. Like, yeah, and he's a hockey boy too. You guys, hockey players? I played yeah, hockey. Yeah, pretty players. competitive. I'll tell you what, that being well, Canadian, they're you know they're sending all those immigrants to Martha's Vineyard. Yeah, yeah. where's my trip? Where's my free trip yeah. as an immigrant? They go. I f- I you, we're gonna free trip to Martha's Vineyard. Where's our bus to Martha's Vineyard on the government? <laughs> you just gotta fuck up your paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> we're not tan enough. <laughs> yeah, I hope they do all right. It's so funny. The immigrants. Yeah, yeah. You are rooting, rooting for yeah, them. I do. I want to. <laughs> Those guys I are gonna do stay. all right. They're a hot topic. The guys yeah. who got. If you, if you're on that bus and you become a national news story, I'll tell you what's not going to happen to you anything really bad. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're in the spotlight. Yeah, yeah. you made the move getting on that's that a, bus. You ain't getting in a cage afterwards. That's a that's golden for sure. ticket. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> it kind of was a golden Definitely, ticket. Definitely, yeah. dude. They got, they got hooked up once they got to Martha's Vineyard. For sure. Like, obviously, yeah. they, the Martha's Vineyard people obviously were just like, this is so sad. I can't believe this. We're going to do everything we can. As they're anyway. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're back on the bus real quick. Yeah, dude. But if you actually are looking at it from the immigrants' perspective, those immigrants are doing good. Yeah. I bet you they get, like, expedited paperwork and shit. Yeah. But definitely ain't dude. getting sent back home, that's for sure. They're grandfathered in. They're it's, like the early AT&T all-inclusive packages. It's, it's, that's one pack of immigrants. 
one sec. I'm going to have everything they need, dude. Yeah, yeah. It sucks that the Democrats are so bad at politics because if they tried to make it work on Martha's Vineyard, that would have been so much more fun. Yeah, true. If they actually figured it out, like they figured out a way to like really like fold them in to just Martha's Vineyard, and then they sent another plane. (laughs) (laughs) There's just a war. Dude, the the bed and breakfast wars (laughs) on fucking Martha's Vineyard. Dude, the fact that they took them from Texas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're like, hey, we actually have enough seats, Republicans. He goes, oh, do ya? Let's go. All right, yeah. Yeah. Beep, beep, yeah. beep. They're parachuting out of Libya. Meet it, meet it, meet it, meet it. There's that red light flashing. Dude, the fact that we're just destroying rich people's areas is just the funnest right. thing. Yeah, that's <laughs> that rules. You know yeah. what I heard? You guys probably know Martha's Vineyard better than me because, like, I don't like never really heard about it. I don't. Being Fuck Canada. that place. Fuck oh, okay, but someone was telling me it's like not really true that it's super liberal there. They're like, yeah, it's a lot of like yeah, billionaires. It's, super it's like Long Island. It'll be like they're rich. People. Well, like yeah, the yeah, it's yeah. not super liberal. But it's yeah, only no, it's, like it's, the funniness comes from these people being like super open border. Well, liberal Massachusetts, people. the state, it's the liberal island. If they're like Two in hours. your face, how's oh, some immigrants? Months. And they're yeah. like, yeah, we didn't like, we said we didn't like this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, was, I voted against yeah, this. Yeah, then that's yeah. not really, like, what's yeah. the hypocrisy, I guess? It's just, yeah. how do you like the immigrants now? Same as when I voted. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine all the immigrants show up, everyone's wearing like MAGA hats, being like, what? Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, in your face. Like, what yeah, the you hell? read us totally wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck off my dock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 you you made a, Dude, a Dave, dire mistake in calculations thinking that we were talking about this earlier in the car in the car today. When Dave Smith tweeted, he's like, "You want to change true policy, you have to impact the the rich people. The, they'll make the policy changes if it impacts their personal life or their or, right. their, or their world. Their they so, didn't change their it that society. Much, though, they they, they just didn't got enough, rid of them, but, but they made made quick work of it. You know, they didn't uh-huh. change it totally." <laughs> Like and I said, this is like kind of what hap- has to happen with school shootings for like gun control. You got to shoot up the rich schools. Yeah, yeah, for sure. The, the private schools, of the, the senators, the senator's sons, and fucking all those. We got little- to cut off their Wi-Fi. <laughs> well, <laughs> we we got to get that fucking kid fucker out there and shut the Wi-Fi down. Those schools probably already have armed guards though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah true. That's the thing. They were like, "What about armed guards?" And everyone's like, "No armed guards." True. The, you're right. The rich schools, they're probably like. Yeah, yeah, no armed guards is like obviously we're gonna yeah, have yeah, them, yeah, but. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got a doorman yeah. with a gun in his hip. Yeah, I guess that's like it, I mean, as far as like funniness goes, it's like anyone who thinks this isn't like a little bit funny, you're just like out of your mind. Yeah. No, oh, yeah. yeah. This is a crazy move though, so DeSantis funny. like taking them from Texas. Like at first I go, oh, yeah, there's like I guess they were, I was like, oh, they're Haitian then, right? Yeah, coming yeah. from uh, because they're coming from Florida, Florida and then yeah. they go, no, he just went to Texas <laughs> to a different state, yeah, and then flew them to <laughs> Martha's so, Vineyard. So funny. Were they, were they saw what Abbott was doing? He was like, yo, let me get some of no, those. No, they were like recent. They were like recent. <laughs> a they were little, yeah. Time. A couple of those bullets. He oh, did yeah. still sort of steal his his funny move. Yeah. I feel like that about DeSantis. Everything he does is like, he just like saw someone else do it and then says it or does yeah, it. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But, but yeah, flying is such a, he's really elevated. You he know turned I mean? into a <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just having the pilot being like, uh, yeah, cleared for landing. They're like, who are you? And like that money is like, so Florida State Tax. I don't know how to tell you this. Florida state taxes paid for to take immigrants from Texas to Massachusetts. Yeah. Like, I guess it's just to prove a point. I guess he's trying to like make a play. Just a oh, political I mean, play. Obviously. I mean, it's insane. It was a, but it's risky. It wasn't a play. It was a stunt. Yeah. 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 Dude, it, it's, that's clearly a stunt. That's a, yeah, that's that's a, a stunt. hotel three in the morning yeah. Coke binge going, <laughs> I got it. Yeah. Like that idea is so insane. And then to pull it off, you got to give it to the fat little fuck. <laughs> yeah. no, it's a brilliant play. <laughs> It's a brilliant play. I feel like, like, kind of looking at the internet though, everyone still thinks exactly like if you look at uh, liberal places, they're all like, "Yeah, and we took care of them really super well, yeah, and yeah. we actually showed our humanity." And then the, uh, the Republicans are like, "You kicked him out in twenty four hours." Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, bad. yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah, but it was like the, I feel like the Democrat one is more of like how girls operate. Like, legitimately, you can say your chick being like, "Oh, you know, I care so much about this," and like, you know, "Oh, there's this homeless." Guy on her step, like, how are you doing? You need some water? Yeah. We're calling the cops, obviously. But yeah. <laughs> like, I could see a girl but I know doing the all that Democrat stuff. Democrat thing where it's like they they did take care of them, but they also shipped them out. It's like <laughs> yeah. guaranteed Dude. to lose the fucking debate. Dude, you know what I mean? All, Just keep them on the island. How long do you think they should have kept them for? Like Dude. until it died down, at least. Dude, build cabanas. <laughs> have them in there. Do whatever it takes to make them wrong. 
That's what it, it's like, dude. Yeah. You got you got at least twelve You're million war dollars. And you sort of he conceded. spent tw- twelve million dollars to humiliate you. You got to find twelve million dollars <laughs> to take the heat. You're saying they should have fought back. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, at least do something. Make him the mayor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Dude. You won't, pussy. Yeah. <laughs> that's all it takes. <laughs> Coward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's like, I mean, this is the same process that the ultra liberals with like purple hair bitch that like Black Lives Matter. She'll drive from Connecticut to Wall Street and and talk about defunding the police and then, you know, scurry back to her area that right. doesn't it doesn't have all the problems. None of them. That's problems. why like my true black friends are like, we don't want this shit. What the fuck are you talking? Yeah, yeah. You're going back to your gated community. We don't want people to get yeah. murdered yeah. all the time. And you're yeah. like, that's your culture. You're they like, just want it. I don't want. It. Yeah. <laughs> they just want it for an Instagram post. And it's, true. Yeah. it's like that's your culture. Like that everyone's killing each other. It's like <laughs> yeah. no, it's not. Stop, yeah. <laughs> Stop like. Meanwhile, telling- dude's like, yo, chill. I kind of want the cop around once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking up. You know what kind of annoyed? Uh, like, did you see the SNL thing? Uh, like they they announced the new cast or whatever. No. And there's that girl, Meet Brick Molly, Marcella Hernandez. You know Marcella? <clears throat> no. You don't know these people? <laughs> no. You missed. You I saw a video of Meet Brick Molly. So Meet Brick Molly and Marcella were like the two new cast, and there's some other ones I don't know. And it's like, it's such a like politicized thing. And SNL is obviously super political, but that Meet Brick girl is like, like lesbian chick like super funny she's like binary, one of the dudes no, she's not binary, binary. well this is my point don't, I've yeah. known her for a long actually turn this off I met her she's a girl <laughs> meeting the she had a girlfriend I've hung out with her a bunch of times she's non-binary like of people mine, can right? have girlfriends she is <laughs> hilarious I've never heard her say she was non-binary it wasn't in her bio or anything maybe she might I don't know well right? now it's her identity but I my imagine. point is every article about yeah, her right. is like it's almost like the liberal people it's like they're they're sacrificing them because they go the first non-binary cast member, and obviously people are like, "Shut up!" Like, yeah, you yeah. know, some people are. But celebrating. you're saying she's funny enough. She's to hilarious. Her. Yeah. It was like you're throwing her to the wolves. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Like you're making her like a political thing where you can't just say, "Here's the new cast." She, I'm sure she didn't call the magazines and like, <clears throat> "Hey, do you mind putting the non-binary thing in there?" Like, yeah, I know yeah. her. She's not like that. She's like yeah. a fucking like one of the dudes kind of chick. Yeah, like, yeah. Super. So sometimes me, so she's just fucking she's like a dude no, like occasionally. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> only when she <laughs> it, it kind of bothers she, me. Only when she wears that big fake dong yeah. in her sweats. <laughs> it's a shop class. <laughs> uh, but I've seen yeah. that with like lots of times with comics where they'll get presented in a certain way that makes well, dude, people hate them. It's it's also I agree with you because it's it's also been blown so far out of proportion. It's like everyone's sick of look it. Look at ESP. Everyone's tired of it. The bubble should burst at some point, but it, it never will totally deflate. But like if you see. Like ESPN, right? It, there used to be pe- there used <laughs> It'll be like to be- hockey game. It'll be like for for like Asian chicks. And There's you go, no. I mean, like fine. I guess, <laughs> you but like can't. you know what you're doing here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, some of them are great. Like Mina, like she's fucking incredible. But like you'll now they're ha- every every show that used to be too popular. Guys, now they, ha- they everyone has a female no. woman of color as a moderator. Where she's like, okay, you say this now and you go that. Because now we're just shoehorning in And if the guy always played the sport. Yes. Right? Like, the guy's like, yeah, I had to play this sport to yeah. get this, like, not level of Mostly. knowledge. And then For yeah. the color commentators, yeah. Yeah, right? yeah and then yeah. It's the chick's just like, yeah, I'm hot and I like sports. Yeah, I'm hot. Yeah. And I like sports. Yeah. yeah. The chicks and the chicks, the commentators for the sports, I feel like is, like, a lot of people's line where they're, no matter what you think, you're just like, you're pushing my buttons here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny. Well, also, though, making like, chick referees, I feel like, is a dangerous move. Why? <laughs> no. We already hate referees. <laughs> <laughs> True. Like, we were all brought up oh, by a referee. Yeah, yeah. So not only now, <laughs> that's what mo- our moms are just chick referees. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so now it's a bad call, and a woman did it. <laughs> yeah. That's your. You're, you're yeah. so right because <laughs> that is like the whole purpose of referees. Like half the time is for everyone to like take their aggression out on. Yeah. 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 Fuck you. Yeah. Do I remember hockey? My favorite one was all ref. You fucking pregnant because you just missed two periods. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude. I was a referee, actually. Really? Oh, buddy, I used to get yelled at, and it was always my fault. For I was, I'm the loopiest person in the world. No, you were lacrosse, a referee? I for lacrosse. Heard. Really? Dude, I literally would pull all-nighters, show up to the lacrosse game, <laughs> miss uh. goals, and then just call it. And they'd be like, you didn't see he was in the crease, like, kind of thing. And I'd just be like, I oh, no, he wasn't. Like, yeah. Dude, I, I remember times where they would, parents would be yelling at me that, you know, you didn't see that penalty? i go, I saw it. What, what number? <laughs> <laughs> That rules. I was the Did you catch a number on that with the license plate on that? I agree. <laughs> yeah. 
I would catch myself. The big myself. tall one, or was he the little short? <laughs> Describe him. Yeah, yeah. Which, one, which one did you think it was, just to see if you were thinking yeah. about it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm yelling at the parents. Dude, parents were ready to jump down and fight me. I was so yeah, bad at refereeing. Dude, I would never be able to be a referee. I would be so... I, I, I'm too emotional. Oh I would, yeah, you'd be yelling back. I would. Al- I would also just decide. You're jumping into the stands. No, no, <laughs> I wouldn't fight the parents. But I, there'd be kids who I just didn't like the way they played, and I would give them a little something. something. I'd make them the suffer. Team up, team up, yeah, right yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. be hitting them with the business. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, two for reffing. Why didn't touch yeah, anyone? Yeah. Two for run sports. <laughs> you keep it going. <laughs> Keep running your mouth, kid. I yeah, didn't yeah. Coach, I got get, all get day. Get a hold of your team here. Yeah. Yeah. It's not even the sport where you have flags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're saying soccer. I'm not going to run out of cards. Keep talking, <laughs> wise ass. <laughs> Dude, I remember like running down the field and leg- or like the it was the uh, the box because it was like in the hockey arena lacrosse right and I legitimately remember like often like the play happening and me like catching myself like thinking about like some shit at school or like band my band oh, yeah, or whatever yeah. and then like kind of coming to in the plays at the other end and just being like you know, just like having to play it cool like it's Kramer yeah. dude I w- that happened to me like a- I was maybe the worst referee in history of referees well, yeah. like, like you you're trying to pretend like you're investigating some deep principle of the lacrosse. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, well, just, I've thought about it, and it wasn't a penalty. Like, <laughs> yeah. oh, that's what I was thinking about for the last eight seconds. This crease is drawn wrong. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I was zoned. <laughs> yeah. You were just thinking about that girl's breath from last night. Like, <laughs> or I she would must catch have a my, dead tooth. I'll tell you what I would do. I would back, catch yeah. myself. You know how, like, sometimes you'll, wanna, you'll be fidgeting, and you'll be, like, have something you don't put in your mouth, and you'll accidentally, like, put it in your mouth or some shit? Yeah. Like, I would catch myself, like, just fucking around, bouncing the ball in the court. Like, you could just can't, like, be the referee bouncing. <laughs> <laughs> like I just catch myself, like take the ball out of my just, pocket, like just, fucking around with it. Just imagine you on the lacrosse field chewing on the flag. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like what? How old is this? A it's like big. Were these high schoolers? Uh no, because I was in high school, oh. so I was oh. probably reffing kids that are like you know ten, 10 and yeah, I was probably like shit? fifteen. Yeah. yeah. So some of the parents do give I know. a lot of a yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're ready to fight you. Some of these parents. I mean, you're fucking up their kids' lives. Like, in their mind, they're like, yeah, you're just stunting their growth. You're the reason why they're not going to You're ruining their kid's life. Bro. Well, you're as a bit <laughs> Play of for like, the Toronto hey, Rock. buddy, if your son plays for the top team in lacrosse in the world, like, he makes as much as a fucking construction. They're all fired. Yeah. yeah, no, they're all, like, all the Toronto Rock. They're all, like, you, like, it, it's, it was like a CFL similar joke, but, like, you know, they'd say their, their uh, stats and then their job. Yeah. Dude, if you're really yeah. good at <laughs> sports... And your parents put you in one that makes no money. That's like a cruel and unusual punishment. Yeah. For women especially, because women, there are a bunch of sports where you can make tons of money. Yeah. And then there's a bunch where there's zero money. Yeah. Wait, what sports? Golf? Tennis? tennis. Oh, yeah. I mean, tennis, you make l- as much as the men. Yeah. yeah it's close. For way less work. Wrestling? Tra- it is true. It's way less work. Wrestling. Well, they only play best of three. Stripping. Well, they only play I know. Best it's of three pathetic. in majors. It's pathetic. And they make exact same purse. And there's no, there's no, nobody's complaining about that. I am. No, no, I know. I'm saying. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying it's actually <laughs> on, their, right on right their side. I'm yeah, saying. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No one's like, yeah, they're not we like, should hey, be playing just as much as the men. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. Your knees would give out. But that is such a good point because the refs are going to be doing bad calls more than usual. Everyone, <laughs> yeah. Everyone's going to be yelling at them, and then they're going to have to be like, Oh, look at this, this fucking yeah. bitch. It's yeah, no, this is why you can't have them in there. Yeah. And they'll <clears> say, like, look at all everyone's misogynist, and everyone's just like, yeah. Like, that's <laughs> fucking, yeah, and yeah. it's the one time we get to do it, so yeah. beat it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that would, be, that would be so mad if they were like, new rule, you can't, you get kicked out immediately if you start yelling at the refs because it's a girl now. You'd be like, yeah. you're proving our point of like, <laughs> there's what there's she's such a princess so I can't fucking have some words with her after a bad call. The good thing is they're actually breaking down and crying. They actually have to go through the system. <laughs> they actually, you guys are meanies. <laughs> they have to earn it. Yeah. So they go through the whole yeah, they, they work so their way up just like a player does. Yeah, yeah. Unlike yeah. the other people that I'm talking about. Yeah. You make okay money being like the top ref in the Oh dude. The yeah. game. Did you see the uh yeah. the thirty for thirty on, on Donahue? that guy from Donahue? Yeah, they're all yeah. So memory, they're Donahue. all from Delco. It's like the hometown down from. Uh, okay. And they have like four or five legendary dudes. So they would always scoop guys from Delco because it's a very sporty town. Okay. And people would like coach their. Yeah, it's nepotism. 
Yeah, it's probably yeah. It was that. It makes sense. <laughs> probably a bit yeah. of that. Who too. was the one? <laughs> yeah. Rick Javi. Delco was a real ref hotbed. Well, nepotism. <laughs> they're not related. I listened to the pod. I haven't seen the thirty for thirty, but I listened to the Donahue podcast, and yeah, he was saying like there was what was it Steve Javi or something? It was like the main guy. Yeah, and then Jack and Cannon, oh. who was my high school basketball coach. Really? Yeah, he got nabbed. He was a but he ne- he never got charged, <laughs> but he's in, he's in that doc. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. yeah. But they nipped it in the bud. Those guys, until he fucked it up, he was like, "Yeah, I was making four hundred thousand dollars. I was betting on games, but not on. I wasn't shaving points." Uh-huh. And he was like, "I was still making money because I had this mob mob in, insider that was like, <laughs> I would make an extra million a year." So then he's like, "It got out of control." Didn't Donaghy try and say that he only made thirty grand or something? Yeah, and they, yeah, in the in, in the doc they asked him. No, they yeah, like, that's how he's hiding it. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah like yeah. they were like, "Did you make more than thirty grand?" And he was like, <clears> "I don't know." Yeah, <laughs> no comment. And then they then right. they interviewed him again like later, and they were like, "Remember before when you said you didn't know when we asked you if you made more than thirty grand?" He was like, "I didn't say that." They were like, <laughs> "Yeah, it's on film." They like showed it to him. He's like, "I don't know what happened there." Yeah. <laughs> it was just like, "What, dude?" <laughs> he's already out. He's already fucking out. mind. Like, he's yeah, out of jail, yeah. and he's not ever gonna ref. What does he <clears> even have to lose <throat> other than the mob coming after him? I guess. Do, do you wonder like if he was hiding money prior to For sure. his inevitable downfall? Correct. Or or he was a real. <clears throat> Degenerate gambler and like, he, like Lost a proper de- degenerate gambler would have nothing. There's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I if mean, you're the, if you're the real deal, you'd have yeah. nothing. That's so funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's they, were, why they were shaving so perfectly that dead. they were, were, were really hitting like seventy eight percent. Yes, or something, something like, like that. Yeah. So that is fucking. I mean, it's easy. Wide. You just like get Kobe. You foul out Kobe Bryant or something. Yeah. Like when they're ahead. 15 points or something. Even yeah. before he was doing things to, to impact the game itself, he would have inside information that would be... Well, he knew all the refs' tendencies and who they... He's like, he knew... I remember the podcast, they like, he knew the which refs, like, hated certain players. Yeah. They just fucking hated their guts. So he's like, yeah, he refs them super hard. He hates them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's also corruption. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but there's <laughs> so no they, way to eliminate that without <clears throat> robots. There's still people. Yeah, yeah. So, like, even... I'm sure major league... Any, any sport has that where you're like, yeah, I hate that guy. Yeah, that's why NBA is tough for me to watch. I can't. Oh, I love it. I, I mean, also you're a Sixers fan. Yeah, Sixers are but great. I, I like. I. I that's what are you talking t- about? I oh, like this watching is the basketball Toronto conversation. We're gonna have that. <laughs> you yeah. fucking jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> I was over that a little bit. <laughs> I just put two and two together. I'm like, what's he talking oh, shit for? The shot. Canadians don't talk no, shit. No, I have friends who are Sixers yeah. fans. They're like the most. They all are like, oh, it's tough being a Sixers fan. Rough. Yeah, yeah, it was for a long time. It still is. Well, since now, now we're gonna be good this year. <laughs> this, dude, no, 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 we just, are we are we're competing at a high level no, a six late in the playoffs yeah, yeah what else yeah, do you yeah. fucking want no. teams are so good in the nba that like it's hard to get anywhere near your eastern conference yeah the raptors were like that forever it's crazy yeah it's like the eagles people talk about the eagles they were so bad for 28 years but then we also won four nfc championships and like we won our division like 12 times do you guys know the guy you who don't remember shit? that shit huh do you guys know who the guy is who ate the shit after they won the Super Bowl? No, the guy ate the horse shit? Yeah. No. What happened? Was the I think why do you do that? Up a, I think I kind of knew that person. I, did, I didn't. You had <laughs> a friend of a friend of the shit eater? Yeah. Dude, I that was the greatest thing when the Eagles won the Super Bowl. They were like, after, everyone was celebrating afterwards or I'm whatever. I'm sure and there was like, like news camera and there was like horse shit because from the police horses and this guy was like, ah, he just picked up some <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it was like an <laughs> open mic his boyfriend or something like that. I <laughs> oh, think so it he was, was looking yeah, for a yeah, moment. I think yeah, so. Yeah, I think he was. Yeah, like, I mean, you're not yeah, the only yeah, funny yeah. one, Becky. Who's my new closer, bitch? That would be bad if he went viral for that and he's got to do yeah, like yeah, yeah yeah people are expecting yeah. <laughs> on stage everyone's like eat the shit <laughs> <laughs> we paid money you know what we came for <laughs> right, who's gonna shit for me yeah, who's gonna yeah. shit for it I'll like Gallagher shit. everybody's got a poncho <laughs> in the front row and yeah. who's gonna start throwing up on each other <laughs> this guy's taking a third bite of the apple <laughs> oh shit uh, we got one more thing we do we go through the craziest reddits and there's these ones uh, do you know what a tulpa is no Okay, so there's these people, and they basically think they have the ability <clears throat> to summon a, a second person that lives inside their bodies, and we check in on the Reddit every once in a while. Okay, and yeah, my mom went to one of these. Wait, no, they say that they have like multiple. They have multiple people living in their body, but one of them's the main one, and then the secondary one, like just will come out. Yeah. Is it like an ancient one, or is it just like a guy from? Sometimes ancient. Sometimes they think it's ancient, but they generally all kind of have the same personalities as the original person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> they're bad at it. Yeah, it's <laughs> bad, terrible acting from somebody who <laughs> needs attention. No, it's never all these people. They never have a personality where it's just like their original one was like kind of a college kid bisexual, and the new one's like a fucking you know construction worker. Who, what, who was this queer shit? Like, yeah, never, yeah. it's never a different thing like that. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. <laughs> But these well, little you know, ones like I like strawberries, <coughs> and the others like I don't really like strawberries. Like, yeah, yeah. Shit. It's, it's hell in here. Yeah. It's hell in here. <laughs> I don't like the texture of strawberries. <laughs> Are you gonna give her to Carl, please? Because I can't fucking deal with this all day. Oh, it's so. It's great. also ninety percent chicks. Yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, there isn't a lot of guys that have this. <laughs> it is uh, the, the, any guy that has it's probably like I have a tulpa that's gay, and I'm actually screwed. Yeah, I have a tulpa that uh, cheated on my girlfriend. <laughs> that's um, that's our yeah. That's <laughs> Best one. They tell us a dog. It's so funny too. The documentary is on people with multiple personalities. They always start out and they're like, all of a sudden, he was speaking in a perfect Scottish accent. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. There's no way he would be able to do that. And then, it, like 45 minutes into it, it's like, yeah, he watched like a lot of Scottish TV. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, what the fuck? What the? F You're just wasting my time. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> That's a fake doctor shit. He's, get, he's getting his fucking money. <laughs> oh, these people have great the posts. Like they all found their Tulpa community. It's all very encouraging. Like you know, oh, my Tulpa doesn't want to come out that much. You got to give him time. Like it's all that kind of stuff, uh -huh. right? And they go. I'm considering making a Tulpa. I don't want to bring someone in this. <laughs> <laughs> making. A tulpa. They know how to make them. That's the thing. Conjure them. They conjure them up. <laughs> These are like all mentally ill people. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> What's the process? <laughs> I, I, you just go like this. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> yeah. If you don't shit, then you made a top. <laughs> do this in the general. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny to be like. <laughs> yeah, you, you, ever, you ever make a dope? It's like, yeah, I made one once. It sucked. <laughs> I killed I it. Can't get rid of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Doesn't like strawberries. Well, the other thing is sometimes the best part of the post is sometimes <laughs> it's opposed to me. Like, I'm John's Tulpa and I'm fucking <laughs> sick of this shit. Like, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, like he doesn't let me do anything. Yeah. So sometimes the Tulpa like gets on Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, this the, this personality is, is trapped in their mind and their body. Uh -huh. When they extract the tulpa, one of those said personalities, if it's not just they one. kick the other one downstairs. Oh, so yeah, you're yeah. regular, they you're, take regular the you're like a slave to this. The, <laughs> right, like, so the regular person is, is in the basement until yeah. this guy's fucking over. He's right? in the basement, yeah. <laughs> so how long can he control when the tulpa exchange happens? They don't, I think they're not. Tulpa doesn't like to give up the power all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the, the fear here is if you put your tulpa on, <laughs> yeah. your tulpa ain't coming back off for a yeah. couple of years. You I weren't know. scheduled for Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you have to start coming up. in. It is a little like. Like you promised, though it's only gonna be quick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then you go back to like you're an auto mechanic. You just walk in with a Scottish accent for the next, like three, three fucking months. You got a that's, lisp all of a sudden. That's the best one. Is someone coming out and being like, "Perfect Scottish accent." He's like, "And hey, I'm a Scotsman." Yeah. He's like, "He's not really that good." good like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, he moved around a bunch. Yeah. He lived in the UK. Yeah. For a <laughs> Which part of Scotland? He lived in Spain for yeah. a while. He originally adopted, but had to learn the language. <laughs> <laughs> I'm considering making my Atalpa, but I don't want to bring someone in the world to suffer because the world's such a bad place right now. So they're sort of saying, like, do, should, uh... Oh, my God. Yeah, they're having... <laughs> Ask him how many fucking kids. No, this guy has. no, I know. That's what I would love is someone, someone sitting across them, sitting across from someone who's complaining about their kids. They're like, you don't know what it's like. You think that's oh, bad? I, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I made a Tulpa. Now, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you only have two kids. I have four Tulpas. <laughs> yeah. I brought four Tulpas into this life. <laughs> Childbirth is so hard. Yes. Oh, yes, it is the second hardest thing. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I wish I was a fucking. I wish I was mentally ill like that. Uh, oh, just and have the audacity to like just say all your bullshit to people straight face like they should yeah. care. Yeah, <laughs> that's a level of crazy. I think would be fun. Like you don't know. You're yeah, you don't know for up. sure. You're having a great time. Some dude. of them do sometimes say though that the tulpas like are ruining <clears throat> their lives though, which is kind of funny. Yeah, because it's just them ruining their life and they're. Yeah. Just I didn't ask for it. this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like remember the it. one? There was the chick and she was like, "Yeah, I keep cheating on my boyfriend." Yeah, that but was it's a my good one. But then my boyfriend doesn't know that. That it's oh my god. Well, this person says minutes. first and foremost, this <laughs> How post do I, I want explain this, this to him. I want yeah. this post to be respectful. I figured since it's Pride Month, this would be a good time to ask the question I've had. I'm curious. I see a lot of overlap between the communities. I don't personally identify as the queer community, but I'm interested to see if we do. So does having a tulpa make you part of the queer community? <laughs> I guess I don't know what depends what your well, tulpa is depends tulpa if your tulpa is gay or not yeah, yeah. yeah. if you so, jerk off does the tulpa jerk off then I'd say now you're gay for yeah. sure more than 50% of these people are 
uh, like the actual person, I'd say like eighty percent of them are LGBT in some way. Well, most of yeah, the yeah, most always the, yeah. very the few time. people. Yeah, but I think what happens is you get a little buzz from like saying I'm a queer and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then take what them, else? It's the heroin. Now you're chasing the dragon. You're yeah. chasing. <laughs> yeah. Tulpa is one hundred percent chasing the dragon. That's it. <laughs> on, on internet attention. That's it. Fuck. We started with attention. Uh, that Tulpa is the fucking yeah. top of the. That's Ugh. the top of the top food of the chain. <laughs> yeah, because you're out here and the person's like, I've got big tits. He's like, I've got big tits and there's a fucking mechanic living inside me. <laughs> <laughs> a second one. Each tit has a totally different personality. Oh, uh, this is the one where the different tulpa milk. came out. <laughs> so I'm a tulpa <laughs> and please don't call me that. So this is the tulpa that took over Reddit and they said oh, that Jesus they don't Christ. like the word tulpa. <laughs> oh my God. He's been reading Sick. up on him. <laughs> I mean, it would be a good one. It'd be like the um, tulpa mentally <laughs> charged person. And I'm like Tulpa an American Dude <laughs> I'm Tulpa an American This is I feel like you could Snap these people out of it too With just like A lot of questions Very specific questions Be like, Or your, a job What was your child Yeah yeah, yeah that yeah. too Yeah yeah, yeah. And he sort of Rent to pay employment. would snap him out of it Probably <laughs> Yeah But just like you know What was your childhood like Where'd you go to school Like you just start asking All these questions And like It would be so hard for them To make them up on the spot They'll be like Alright you got me Yeah when yeah, you make right. a Tulpa Does it have a history It must How does it know how to use Reddit like it has it has to have right, education. Right. Yeah, how did it learn to use Reddit? Yeah, if it's does it have to start you because you, your tulpa would just be a baby, really. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, until it gets where did yeah. they, why is your tulpa like a guy that's been to Spain? It's like okay, well, yeah. was it someone else's tulpa then? Are you stealing yeah, yeah, tulpas? Yeah, 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 yeah. Where are you making these tulpas? How are you making these? Yeah, tulpas? how do you have a history that never happened? Well, they say. Um, Maybe you just get like a dead soul breathed into your mouth like that black guy with bees and. Uh, that's what it sounds like they're doing yeah. a Candyman situation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, or Green Mile. Yeah, Green oh, yeah. Mile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The big Jack Black dude sucks in all his bees yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gets said, I'd much rather. Uh, it's unnecessary. I shouldn't be called a terpa, tulpa because I'm a person just like you. Yes, my etymology is a little different, but I'm far, uh, far from not a person. So that's what they don't like to be called a person, not a tulpa. Um, <laughs> which is sort of funny that yeah, being like the, your tulpa taken over, and there's gonna be some changes around here a dude, little don't bit. <laughs> This is this danger of having too much money. Yeah, you think, and just or well, you, also I think this, this is the parents having too much. That's money. what I mean. <laughs> yeah, That's what yeah, I mean. Yeah. So your kids will just be clowns. Yeah, because they don't. <laughs> it's just a, such a guilt. I'm era. not the clown. My tulpas are clowns. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, so like when you're a kid, you you grow up like what middle class, low class. Like you got to cut lawns, in America, or shovel even in yards. America, I like dude. Third world countries. Zero tulpas. Yeah, there's no. Right. There's no very low tulpa. Right. There's no tulpas yeah. in Africa. Yeah. right. Yeah. Like they just don't do this shit. Yeah. Like they're just. That would be annoying though. No, if I you're bet fucking, they do. They if don't you're Indian, maybe kid. South Africa. Yeah. Yeah. No, I could see Africans getting into tulpas because I feel like it's also. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They would have like a different. It wouldn't be like this nonsense. No, it's like, I think it's all attention. stupid though. I mean, yeah. I don't think they're. It's all yeah, attention, yeah. I, mean, I mean, that yeah, whole spirit inside you things. Their tulpa thing would be sawing off like fucking. The elephant dust to clear the cancer out of the, the elderly. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> that's tulpa, It'd be misdirected yeah. tulpa shit, but that's yeah. just a wizard inside of them. Right. Yeah. Listen, when black people do tulpas, it's great. When white people do tulpas, we don't Get out of here. We don't care. <laughs> Not cool. Yeah, you're this mentally is, ill. Get a tulpa. job. Yeah. They have tulpas because they have to. I have a tulpa. <laughs> you better. <laughs> they have no choice. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm just into it right that's now. That's their culture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and then the last one that is making me laugh was this person was having trouble making tulpas, and they go, fake it till you make it, a guide to tulpa creation. For this guide, you only need to know one thing, the ability to lie to yourself and fall for it. So they're saying, like, sometimes it's hard to make a tulpa, so if you just start believing that you have a tulpa, then you'll get better at making them in the yeah, future. That is and you true. Go, yeah, but it's funny, like, <laughs> we, but, like, t typing this all out, but at no, and then, but you're still, like, and then, but they are real, like, this is just a good way to get there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm faking mine right now. Yeah. Yeah, but it'll yeah. be real soon. But, yeah. This whole fucking thread should have padded walls around it. This yeah. is just a bunch of psychos bat. They are. It's my thousand. favorite community on the internet. <laughs> we always keep checking back in with the Tulpa people. <laughs> I haven't been on Reddit ever. Maybe oh, somebody sent me a link of like a an accident or something. Somebody getting hit it's on a motorbike. It's the best place because it's the only place that like real freaks can find other freaks to like real freak out, you know? Yeah. Like yeah. If, you, if anyone was this crazy, it would always be dumbed down a little bit. It would always come a little bit of like a, I know. And now it's coming with like a, can you believe this guy doesn't even know Tulpas are real? Like they yeah. they get to be yeah. sort of like that with yeah. their the energy yeah. of their wacky community. This world is so backwards, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, everyone's living without Tulpas. Oh shit. That was fucking fun.
Yeah, man. <sighs> Thank you, right, boys. Stuff Island. Check out the podcast. And I was on Stuff Island, too, so you can check yeah, out that Danny's episode. Yeah, I'm next, coming on next month. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah we had a fucking fun okay. episode, too. And then uh, me and Danny, as always, on the Patreon. Yeah, Patreon.com slash the boys cast. We got a bunch of shit on there uh, to talk about this week. Um, you guys are going back to film your shit right now, right? And then maybe, yeah. maybe you'll go to the stand. You're not sure. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I'm I on think the fence we're gonna too, go. I'm yeah. leaving. I'm leaving for San Fran tomorrow. What time? I guess there's people <clears throat> listening to this. Is this still the podcast? I was gonna say, is this? Still I the just podcast? had a good time <laughs> in San Fran. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So yeah, this will be next week. Your tulp is in San no, Fran. No, yeah, already. Oh, All right. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, and then uh, what are your Instagram? Oh, go. Yeah, Tommy J Pope. Uh, Instagram and Twitter. And uh, Chris and I have a live show at Helium in Philly Wednesday, October fifth. Yeah, PM. Oh, come to that. It'll be fun. Go to Helium for tickets. Helium Hell yeah. Com. Yeah. All right. Philly. Peace. A Chris O'Connor is my Instagram. Not peace yet. A Chris O'Connor. <laughs> <laughs> I hate saying my Instagram. Thank you, boys. Why? Is it? It's bad. Oh, you think you're just so cool? No, huh? no, no, so no. Cool, it's not a cool thing. <laughs> I just I chose a bad handle. Oh yeah, I, I guess confusing. that is weird. What's the A for? It just instead of doing a number. Oh, that is a little weird. Yeah. What's your yeah. email? Don't a, say your it's email. It's also a Chris O'Connor. <laughs> B. His email's B yeah. Chris O'Connor. <laughs> yeah, C Chris O'Connor. That's my TikTok. <laughs> All right, yeah. peace. The boys. The boys cast. The lads. The lads. The dudes. Prepare yourselves.